Hello, everyone, and welcome to the World Series of Board Gaming. My name is Chris George. And I'm Brian Muller. And we are here almost live at the semifinals of Brass Birmingham. We're bringing you all the semifinals and all the final games. You may have seen the final of Terraforming Mars on our channel. If you didn't, check that out after this because it's a friggin' great game. Uh, but we're here to take a look at Brass Birmingham in the semifinals. And since this is a long game, why don't we just immediately turn to the table? How does that sound, Brian? Sounds great. <laughs> No, so we got a good shot here of uh, Jeff and Luca. <sighs> I had a dream last night that we drew Great Western Trail and, and I did the fist bump and then you guys were all scrambling <laughs> to learn a game I like and played in the finals of. I put a lot of DWT. Yeah. Well, that would have been... That dream was kind of yeah, it would have been a lot more. <laughs> Maybe I, would, I, I would have been a lot more. And so, better. Brian, why don't we talk a little bit? I, I, while we, while we see the players was, getting, getting warmed up, someone, uh, we can talk a little bit about the semifinal drawing process. On, on seven, you know, the because yes. uh, Luca yes. uh, has yeah, actually was in the Brass Birmingham semi uh, yeah, uh, ring final, but yeah, he did not absolutely. take home that ring. Luca is actually the ring winner for Azul. Um, Jeff is the ring winner for Wingspan, and then on the other side of the table, who we'll see in a second, we have David Meredith, who is the winner for Ticket to Ride, and then Levi Moreno, who just won, if you saw, I mean, spoiler alert, <laughs> is the winner for Terraforming Mars. That was, a, that was an incredible ring final table. That was amazing. Yeah. That, it was, that game was so close, and I encourage everybody to go watch that video. And maybe you can pause this video and go see that one first if you haven't already. That's but true. Something that's quite interesting here is that we do have um, play, a lot of players made it to multiple final tables. And here Jeff was talking about how he was at the final table for Great Western Trail but didn't win the ring in that. And Luca here was at the Great Western Trail for Brass Birmingham. And here he finds himself right in the sweetest of events for himself. Yes. Yeah, it was a it was a big moment in the drawing of the semifinals when Luca's when Azul was pulled to compete in Brass Birmingham. Luca, Luca let out a big fist bump, and uh, and everyone who was already sitting just shivered in terror. But that doesn't mean that uh, that Luca's a guaranteed victory here because these are some really great players and they're just really great board gamers. And I think that's evidence that we have well we have four champions sitting at the table. And we have Jeff, who is the Wingspan champion at Great Western Trail. Uh, Luca, who, again, we said was at Brass and Azul. Uh, and Levi, who was at Terraforming Mars and the Splendor final. Plus, David Meredith bringing home the Ticket to Ride final in a really dominant victory in that one. So I, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how these people pan out. And I, I'm excited to see how uh, the various players adapt to playing a game that they may not be as familiar with and the result of that. As we can see, Luca is just kind of going through and letting everybody know how many of each card in the deck there are right now. Or how, how many of each card in the deck exists. Do you think that they've bought into exists. this whole charade yes. I'm playing where I don't know how to play the game? Do you think I've sandbagged hard enough and I can start playing the game now? Jeff, Jeff, right, Jeff ready to pull out all the stops. He knows. <laughs> Get it? Because Jeff is Jeff is quite the character. He was uh, yeah. even at the, his ring the presentation the cracking wingspan, all the bird jokes from the, oh, really? the wingspan yeah, the finals. Game, so, uh, like, yes. I expect to hear him a lot, uh, keeping this like, game dude, light and friendly. Exactly. Yeah, like, keeping it lively, keeping it going. What, what I know we live stream tickets ride on the day, and Jeff was saying. Why don't you let, why don't you bring the cameras over here because I'm this game is intense and fun, exciling That's what and, I told everyone uh, in every game this whole time. I'm excited time. I'm let's excited to fun. hear that. And I and I, I love what Jeff just said. He said I've been saying that every game this whole time let's just have fun. And I think that's more, far 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 more than enough. Eight, and at least we're not playing, <laughs> we're not playing Gaia project. <laughs> we could be sitting here playing Gaia project right now. Oh no. That, that would be I mean, true it, it, it's, it's long. Yeah. It's it's long. It's stressful, you know what I mean? And you get behind and you know you're you got to sit there for two more hours losing. So someone would be sitting here knowing they're lost for two hours. It it's tough. It's a tough one. I played with Cliff that it's the ring. We know I play with Cliff. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Cliff, uh, one of the other uh, ring playing? winners, and uh, Luke are both from What's the same your accent? From what, uh, store and town, if I'm correct. Yeah. Right? 
So yeah, yeah, they, they trained together. Luca was saying that that he he played Gaia Project with Cliff to help him practice, and Cliff actually played Brass with Luca to help him practice because Brass was what Luca was hoping to win. See, this would have been oh, I would have loved that next next year. We'll run it back. Luca just said, I'll "Yeah, uh, if this were Great Western Trail, I certainly would be scared." <laughs> he said, "The Great Western Trail is his least confident game." Uh, and we a we actually asked the players to fill out as they're dealing out the cards. They're dealing out eight cards to start. Everyone gets a hand of eight cards, and um, we asked the players what their least favorite games were going in beforehand. And I know Luca said Great Western Trail. Um, but uh, Levi said, uh, listed Brass as one of his, uh, that he was the least confident and in playing. And four out of the game? No. 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 Oh, this, those are this these is a tough one, but uh, uh, Levi is such a good player. Um, I can't imagine yeah. that he's not going to be competitive in any yeah. game. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. I, I think Levi Levi shows just just being able to go from Splendor to Terraforming Mars that he's fairly adaptable. So wait, I was supposed to have seven. Eight. Eight. Did I? But you. Do one action so, yeah, so he's pointing out that one of the things in this game is that you'll take one action on the very first turn, and then for the rest of the game, you'll take oh, two okay. actions. And this Wait, game we have these? is okay, really so we, okay. for, for, for people who are trying to figure out what they're doing in this Bob game, and some of these players are trying to figure it out pretty quickly. That's is true. This game is, is really essential to action efficiency. Especially in a four-player game, you're going to have less actions than any other combinations with Brass Birmingham. Yeah. And you're going to want to make every single action has to count. So it may be more important to have action efficiency over uh, your economy building or in your positioning. Uh, the action efficiency as it relates to victory points is going to be very, very significant throughout this game. Oh, I got a big pile. And, and, and I think it's worth talking about it. For those of you who, who may be unfamiliar with Brass Birmingham, basically you're going to be moving up these two tracks, the economy track and the victory point track. And you obviously want to have the most victory points at the end of the game. That's how you win. Uh, but you'll be doing this over the course of two ages. So you'll start in the canal age and you'll play basically a whole round trying to get your buildings out on the board. And then any buildings of level one that you end up putting out will we'll score and then get wiped from the board. So you're seeing if you can get to those level two buildings early on and quickly while also making sure your economy keeps moving up so that you can afford to do various things on your turn and build various buildings because every building that you can build has a cost. And if you're looking in the top down, you'll see that uh, every every town, every space has a little square and that that is the type of building that can be built. So, so some of the, the XP players the that, that I have yeah, heard, I'm not an expert at this game, but um, right, as they so. begin, they're probably going to want to be very conservative um, until they can get to some of the key places for either oh, okay. for their iron or okay. for their coal early in the game. Okay. And uh, first player is going to be dictated by how much money you spend. Yes. Oh, so yes, sir. Yes, some of the players are going to want to not uh, spend uh, money right off the top of the game, and they'll probably start by taking their loans okay. or doing their developments very okay. early in the, the game so that they don't give up that key position until they're ready to make their move. Yeah, that's a great point because player position is really key in this. And and when you're going makes a huge difference. If, if you spend a lot of money on your turn, you're likely going last in the next round. And just being having some people who might be able to take two actions before you're able to take your next action is a huge consideration. And then so four to the player action on player two and then one back to me. So is that so, uh, Levi that's sitting in the one seat and Jeff is in the two seat? Uh, yeah, so five. clockwise around starting in purple, we have Jeff there in purple, uh, Luca in the up. orangey All brass, we'll call it, David who's playing white, and uh, Levi who's playing yellow. So the current okay. turn order would have been uh, David going first, Levi going second, Jeff going third, and Luca going fourth. fourth. Okay. And this is uh, determined randomly before the game begins. Discard a pottery card. I choose to take the yeah. loan action, receiving 30 gold. And you can see, I think David took a loan action on his first turn as well. Yeah. And Jeff's taking a loan action. And we might see Luca do the same thing. So Levi spending those $4 might force him into the last position for the next round. Terrible at the game, but I'm clean.
Anyone ever call you the Italian stallion? <laughs> No. Well, we'll see if Luca manages to pull out the win. Uh, they might be calling him that after this game. Now, Luca's deciding he's looking at the beer tiles right now early on, either checking. So we got Josh Schwartz as one of our head GMs who's going to be the head GM for this game. Some of you people who are peg heads from Blue Peg, Pink Peg may know him as the metal peg. If you're watching this at home, this is where it all changed. <laughs> uh, so, so actually, good count by Luca, good catch. That uh, and, and a very honest play, too. That, that's what I love about um, this, this game, that uh, everybody is really playing with integrity and honesty because Luca... Luca noticed right away that he only had one beer uh, tile in the level in the level one, and he should have had two. And so right now they're looking to track down that piece. Um, but that not having a level one tile would have been a huge advantage for Luca because, like I said, after the end of the first age, all the buildings in level one get wiped. And if you can get those level two buildings out quickly, then they'll also then they'll score double because you score victory points for your buildings at the end of each age. Doesn't really matter because I will develop. Yeah, that's a, that's like saving a half of an action there because he'll, and and we talk about action efficiency. Being able to develop uh, your level one beer tiles away is probably going to be a play he's going to make at some point pretty early in this game, I would imagine. But matter of fact, that may have been the play he was looking to do anyway. So that so he did he just develop is that what yeah he, he developed he developed uh, two okay, so two two things end of round you pay one or two iron cubes to remove one or two yeah. industry tiles from your player mat and so that's end why he round. was checking because again he, Luca is very interested in getting those out on the table yeah, and being able to get his his level two out on the table and we see he's he's going right for beer. Uh, which like is an important yeah. resource in Brass Birmingham and is actually different from Lancashire. Place. Right, Brian? I don't believe beer is in yes. Brass did, Lancashire. They, they don't have beer in, in, in Brass Lancashire. I gotta get the edge which, right. Well, we do, but we play. If you're watching at home, that's, that's have it facetious. I'm not a game White, white <laughs> and purple, you have to pay. But so the difference, uh, beer being, being thrown <laughs> into this, it just basically functions okay. as an additional resource that the players need to use to sell some of their goods. 44. <laughs> White slash gray slash light blue. White to add, yeah. Go here. First action. Two. So now we see we've moved on to the second round. David now has two actions to work with. He's in first position. He very cleverly took a loan and he's building a canal right away up top. Something else to mention about the board state, for those of you who may not be familiar, is you'll see the little icons above the barrels of beer. The little wooden tokens are beer tokens, and above there are little icons. This might be a huge potential mistake from David right off the bat, though, uh, because he has basically built a railway to this, this location, and those locations around the board, the little tokens indicate what can be sold there. And so you want to pay close attention to what can be sold in uh, in the various locations. And the fact that the crates, the, the, the manufactured goods can be sold in that top spot. It looks like manufactured goods, but may, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no, it, I think it's actually the cotton. It's the cotton yeah, I think it's one building. of the, there's a manufactured good and a cotton up there, it looks like. Yeah, it's a, it's a little, bit, little bit hard to see. No, I think it's actually both cotton. Both cotton have... Uh, are up top there. The manufactured goods is on the side in Shrewsbury, and then also the other manufactured goods is down in Oxford in the bottom right corner. So you spent three for the network and oh six. Eight. Yes, you need to put. How much did you spend total? Sorry. Oh, I didn't spend the network. Six. So the first. But by David three, placing yes. that so that, ne that uh, yes. network tile, that little canal tile, it now opens up uh, Warrington up in the top left for people to sell there. So if whoever's next, Jeff, if Jeff wanted to, he could immediately put down a level one cotton play, paying $12 for it and then sell that cotton using the beer that starts in those ports. Because you're gonna need beer to sell 
but the board starts with a little bit of beer to get people going. So that's a that's a dangerous play, I think, by David. But it depends what strategy people are going for. Yeah, he's also pushing himself up into that top uh, corner sorry, of the board. So, but he is giving himself uh, easy so access to the market as well, too. So we'll see if that's to my uh, what he was thinking if I don't about. I have a network. I can, can start anywhere, anywhere with yes. an industry card, right? Yes. Okay. But then, then it will become your network. And that's the thing. They're just talking about becoming your network. At the beginning of the game, you can play pretty much anywhere. But otherwise, if you're building routes, you have to build off of buildings that you've built. So why don't we talk a little bit, for those who are unfamiliar, about the actions you can do on your round. So the first action you can do is build. You play an industry tile on the board. And like you were saying, Brian, every action costs you a card. Every action costs you a card. You have to be efficient with your cards. There's only going to be a certain number of cards in the deck. First and these cards, discard oh, he's discarding a pottery. He may not have any cotton in his hand. Or I'm sorry. But each action costs you a card, and in order to play in a city, you need to either discard uh, a card yeah, of that no, type, yeah. so, so pottery, cotton, manufactured goods, or discard a card sorry, of I, that city I, type. And that's what Luca was talking about a little bit at the I beginning, pointing out, well, well these I cities, there's only one right, card in the deck yeah. for those so cities. Then, yeah, first action will be to play a coal on right. stone. So I'll spend so, that, so that's the build uh, action. Five, yes. Uh, which will. The other actions you have is the loan action, action which they've basically. already taken, and the development action, which Luca took, action, which helps you to discard, discard pottery, uh, to uh, build my level buildings there. off your board so that you can get to the higher level and buildings, the, which will stay around. If you get to a level two building, they'll stay around between the canal era and the rail era, and then, which is what you really oh, want yeah, to achieve if, when you're talking about weird, action weird efficiency game. and victory point uh, efficiency, and that's is to be able to get those it, level two buildings out lot. in the first These area because here. they'll work this twice. Will sold. This will flip, and I'll receive two gold back for selling the gold to the market. Correct? My income will go up four to that spot there. And so Jeff capitalizing that there is a place and, to, sh to uh, shovel his, his yeah, coal to. I, I haven't embarrassed myself yet, so that's good. That's the third. What? Yes. You should not put this first, because when you put this one, it's not connected with himself, right? You, you want it to be. Well, why you, is the that? Order. I mean, it doesn't. The order, the order does matter, order and this matters. is Luca if you build explaining. This one first, you will not sell because it's not connected yeah. when you place it. It has to be connected when you place it. So. The rules for coal are a little bit tricky in this game uh, because if you if you build coal and there and it's able to be connected to the market as Luke is explaining right now, then the coal immediately gets sold into the market and you can remove it from your board and flip the tile. But if you play your coal first. Uh, and then were to connect it to a market later, it wouldn't go automatically and be automatically oh, yeah, sold to the market. It uh, would stay on the board, and other players would then use that coal first if they were connected to it to build various buildings. Because right. there's two, and, yeah, there's two main resources that you need to to build buildings. Three, right? There's money, there's coal, and there's iron. The coal yeah. is the black cubes, and the iron are the orange cubes. Uh, right. And so those are all. These resources are all sort of accessible to all players, depending on if they're connected to them, which is what I think makes Brass such an interesting game, is that you sometimes want your opponents to use your resources because it helps flip your tiles quicker. And whenever your tile gets flipped over, you immediately score the economy boost. And Sorry. then at the end of the canal phase, or the end of the age, rather, the canal or the iron age, uh, the rail age, you can you then get points for it. So. Yes, plus the, the, you're getting a larger economy from the coal and iron flipping. So those will boost up your income quite a bit. And if you, pl if you don't make that play, what ends up happening is you get coal stuck on your, on your uh, so if I, if I, if coal mine, and works, no one wants to take your coal, and so you uh, don't get to flip it, and it becomes hard work for you to flip I it. Built my own yeah. And then you're stifled for quite a bit of the game. So. And you've invested, because building a building, it, everything costs like... Money is very important in this game, and if you get stuck with resources on a building that you can't flip, you can't keep generating that income engine, and you it, it's a it's a really hard thing to to come back from. Derby. Derby, Derby. You don't have access to coal though, so it's not a legal play. Right? Oh right, yeah. yeah. I forgot there's a yeah. That's how I have to do. But then so, you wouldn't 
you would use two actions to do that, so you wouldn't immediately be able to. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. And you, you, you're seeing, uh, you're hearing them discuss the, the, yeah. knowing how the coal Thinking works in it. brass. Yeah. I find is the hardest learning curve, uh, and, and you can see that the players who are newer to this are are working their way through it as well. I. I remember when I first played played brass. That was my I, I was I was misplaying quite frequently because I the order of operations was tricky to get. But once you get it, it's just really elegant. Winner gets to go to the finals, but the rest of us just get cold. You know, that's a good one. Jeff keeping things light, which is always great. So yeah, Levi taking the network action, starting off his network somewhere on the board. Every card, again, costs you uh, something to discard. So you want to get rid of the ones you don't want to keep and keep the ones you do. Levi heading up to Nottingham in the top corner, where only pottery can be sold. And then, this is Twas tragedy. I have to see. Um, I will build. And so the reason, again, Levi had to build that network first is because all of the markets, all of those spaces around the board that you see where the beer is at, those are the currently the only places that are producing coal. And you can see how much the coal costs on the right side of the board with all those black cubes. So each piece of coal costs one dollar right now. And so Levi is putting out some ironworks on the board and will be paying to purchase the coal from the market. I, I take two from now, the if, I, yes. if I remember correctly here, the iron okay. is a lot more flexible in that it doesn't need the network routes to distribute that's true. The iron off the board. So iron becomes a very, very strong building, a little bit stronger than coal, um, but maybe stronger more towards the end of the game. But having it early will set you up for that end game run. <laughs> Yeah, and as you can see, uh, so Levi placing his first iron, he actually generated four iron, but since there were spots on the board, uh, he was on the iron track. You see there were two spots that got filled in the iron market. Levi was able to put those two iron directly into the market and then put two iron on his, his building. David, David, trying to make a deal. With Luca. <laughs> yeah, no, everyone, center. everyone feels like they're intimidated by Luca at the table, but uh, but intimidated in a way that they just recognize and and respect his experience. But I think they all, I think they all have faith that they could they could pull it out if things went their way, and and I think they could. I think we got some great players around here, and got him right there. We go, and especially like the skills. Even even all the skills they bring from the previous games, David Sorry. Meredith with with his uh, skill in route building, Levi Moreno in his skill with card play, and uh, and it's Jeff thematic. with his skill in engine building, uh, I I feel I feel there's uh, I feel anyone's got a shot here, and we could potentially see Luca be overconfident, and uh, and maybe someone could slip in a win. I know. That's a <laughs> it's funny. They're, they're playing. They're playing Ticket to Ride. They're 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 playing the serious train game. This is the kitty train game. Man, how many games out of the sixteen had trains? Like three, mm. I think. At least three. Was there oh, four? Yes. Yeah, Ticket Western. to Ride, Great Western, and, and this one. one. Yes. That's true. Jeff also having some experience with trains. Yeah, we're gonna have to talk to Amtrak about a sponsorship. I guess. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> So Luke is currently still uh, making his decision. You can tell that it's his, his turn because there is money on all of the uh, other three colors in the bottom left. And that, uh, for those of you who haven't figured it out, that's how you determine player order. You put what you pay on there. And like we were saying, the more you pay, the, the later you go in the next round. Yes, timing is everything in this game. Oh, I always got to think about it. I didn't expect this. I'm thinking the 13 more. 
What's interesting too, I, I I was talking a bit about how David's play was dangerous at the beginning. I expected somebody to capitalize on that cotton. in poker too. But maybe they don't want to. The conversation was the cold play. The open play for Jeff. I'll give you the skinny. It's spicy. Spill the tea, so to speak. They probably drank tea in in Bra in Birmingham. I need to get a change of five. And it's also too maybe you don't want to box yourself in up in the top corner as well. You could you could just run rampant with the bottom of the board, and be uncontested while everyone else is sort of trying to build their networks up top. But the good part about about brass is that you can't really get bo that boxed in. Um, so Luca making a, a connection play over here, maybe going for the iron as well. So I think I think one of the things here is I think he's taking a little bit more experience play and getting a little bit more of a central location here. Yeah. Even though he's away from all the other players, there's so as you can see in the board here, some of the bigger route networks which are going to score more points as the game goes on are those bigger, more congested areas that are, that are more towards the middle of the board. That's Whereas true. Whereas other edges. They're very close to the, those markets, but they might be smaller scoring areas. And this is Luca's experience, I feel, showing he's taken the develop action twice. Uh, with with Levi placing that iron on the board, he was able to have some free iron, which when iron is, is fairly cheap, uh, it's, it's not too much to worry about. But... Levi has now removed his level one, all of his level one beer, his level one iron, and his level one manufactured goods. So any of those that he builds now will stay on the board and give him double points uh, if he's able to flip them over in this age. Oh, oh, yeah. Which is huge. And also then provides the, and then also provides the, the basis of his network for the next round. Eight, nine, nine, three, eight, nine, nine. This was higher than this. Days. There was a very bizarre poker hand that is defies all logical explanation. I'll just watch it. The craziest hand, at least in the last five years. Levi talking about a about poker. Levi Levi also uh, plays poker. He plays a lot of poker as well. He's uh, played in tournaments, many poker tournaments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poker. I barely know it. Anyways. Um, so Jeff, yeah, yeah, coming in with my favorite joke. The, uh, the PG, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has anybody ever told you you give like real Rodney Smith vibes? <laughs> Who's Rodney Smith? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you not watching, so Rodney Smith is a uh, YouTuber. Uh, he he runs Watch It Played. Uh, no, I really don't know who Rodney Smith is. Oh, okay. He, 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 uh, uh, he Rodney Smith got to spoil one of our very first reveals. Oh, nice. I believe he spoiled. Was it? I don't think it was Ticket to Ride. Oh, I am being trolled. Might have been. You are trolling. Might have been Ticket to Ride. Okay. <laughs> so we'll leave him in the dark. I'm not. <laughs> we got other things to think about. And Luca strategically developed and spent well, yeah, less and now can go first again. Oh, okay. So I think that was, that was definitely deliberate by Luca. He saw the opportunity that he could go first Hello. if he developed again. And now he's taking a loan. Loans are incredibly important in this game in a way that I have never seen them be important in any other game in existence. And I, and I mean that sincerely. I always find with loans in games, <laughs> I, I, I find that they're always detrimental. They're usually there to it's penalize the players if you're unable to pay for certain things. But in this game, it's so important to get those extra boosts of money and they can just immediately pay off. Especially when taking a loan gives you thirty coins. Yeah, and if you if you take the loans early, you move back at least what appears to be less on that track. That That's end. true. Yeah, Whereas you have to you move back later, three. It feels like you're moving back oh, a right. lot more. That's that's exactly it. As you can see, as around the board, there there are small numbers underneath sections of points. So basically, the the track operates as two two tracks, the victory points and the economy. And the economy is represented on the bottom number, those little coins. And you'll see that Luca has now moved down into the into the negatives. He is at negative three coins. His income will be negative three, and so he'll actually have to pay money if he doesn't get out of it. 
No, he, yes. that was last round. That was that was, the, last that was round. the second I action of the previous round, round. Yes. or the okay. first action of the previous round. Second but the previous round, as you go team. along, the gaps get bigger, and so moving up three it. spaces on the income on the track, you'll still move three individual spaces, but you may only net one yeah, additional income right. bump. So later on, when you have to take a loan and you have to go down three spaces on the income track, you're moving back a lot more and have a lot more to make up than if you take them early. You can hear in the background the acquire tiles being shuffled and drawn from. <laughs> And we will be having the Acquire and the Carcassonne semifinals coming up uh, in next on, on the channel. We're going to get out all the semifinal games for you, and then we'll proceed to the ring final games. What are e boxes? Why so I think he, he, Jeff here may be looking into which type of good he wants to go with. And while... Um, you can go with the cot, and that can be some high-scoring, uh, a high-scoring building to put out. The yeah, problem with it is it takes like a lot of actions video uh, on, uh, to does, get going. Yeah, with, with the four-player game, you only have 31 coach. actions, so Dude, that can be a little nice bit man, tighter of a ratio than in a two-player yeah. game where okay, the so cot kind of building can be a little bit more productive. But then you've got the difference between the manufactured goods and the pottery goods. And the pottery Over goods are definitely high scoring develop. goods as well, but they're a lot easier so to cut you off. Two of these. So two of these. you have to weigh all that in when you're deciding which uh -huh. which industry you want to get into. To the supply, right? so That's very true. Um, I'm really surprised that we don't see anyone specializing yet, but, but that's probably because again, they're waiting to see what that board state looks like. They're waiting to see what other people invest in and is there going to be competition for selling specific goods versus getting that quick one out early, selling quickly, but then not setting yourself up for the remainder of the game? Take the two beers off. So he's going to develop into to the beer. And that iron already paying off for Luca, which when Luca, because he's in, it's a level two iron that he played down, He'll go up three spaces on the income track and, and pay off that loan and then be getting five points each age. So basically that, that's a 10-point play for Luca as soon as that is flipped over. Yeah. Because that's, it's uh, in the second age, because it's a second very, level. That's very efficient. So you, some people have said that like for a four-player game, you're looking in the 150-point range to be a, a strong winning score, maybe a little bit lower in this game here. Um, but Discard. that with 31 actions, 150, 155 points, you're looking at a five no, points per action efficiency game. rate. And so here, he's so when he's getting play. 10 points off of this play here, he's well within that barometer. Yeah, that's that still feels tough to get with five points in action because you have to spend so much time building your networks. And while your networks do get you points, um, you can see on or maybe you can't, but on every city tile on every market there are these two little dots above them and then on every tile there are dots above each tile so when they're flipped that shows how many points every network scores i feel like we're all trolling each other here jeff i'm not sure if he's bluffing or not rodney smith is uh, uh watch a plate is a fairly well-known rules explainer channel but if you don't need to learn the rules and you learn them from the rule book, then you may not know them. Me or them, so, with yes, someone, yes, will, someone develop. Yeah, will, develop, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, will develop along my island, yes. At some point, we'll just have to get Rodney and Jeff so in the cool. same room. <laughs> right, but one we'll have them comment on the next uh, the next brass semifinal. We'll bring them in. Because two items. It's two if it's iron. on the map, you have to use it from the map. So yeah, I took, he had four, so I did it for free. If not, it was all you have to take it from the map. For okay. two iron. And we can see Luca already not needing to pay because he got that income bump. He his loan is paid off, and so he won't be losing money in the next so income phase. He won't be getting any building. because he's at zero. If you go building and then link. Into so I did building and then link. Yeah, and then it doesn't. By rules, the, the two uh, call would have stayed on the 
But if I were to sell, but if I were to build another iron, the iron doesn't need to be linked. So I have to pay. The iron yeah. doesn't need to be linked to sell. Yeah, so so if you build change. iron, it'll automatically sell. Can coal has to. Coal will only sell to the yes. market if it's connected when you build it. Gotcha. Otherwise, it'll. Yeah. If you built like a coal here that wasn't it connected, was it would stay there until someone sold. connected it. Then they could use it. Yes. And and coal, I believe, they have to use it rather than using the ones from the market yes. if it's they connected. Yeah. So Jeff clarifying market, what we were saying earlier. Except for uh, beer, you could use the free beer. Yes, except for beer, yes. Uh, and from the coal, you need to use the closest yes. the closest, closest coal. Okay, closest yeah. connected coal. Closest connected. And that's going to be, yes. that Doesn't becomes a little bit more interesting when you get those the it. coal in more the central locations. They have to take it because they're when way too far develop, away from the, 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 from the market. Uh, and from, and from any coal that would be that would be in in the upper area exactly. yeah not the markets because as they were just saying you yes. must use the coal that's on the board if you are connected to it before you use the markets but you're using coal but they are. So you have to take coal or if they are another car you can't play Kohler Brookdale to go to Derby. That'd be that'd yeah. be cool, but I'll play another beer. Okay. No. No, you it's you not could, in your network. You, if you use the you beer can. card, it has to be touching. It has to be connected to your network. No, <laughs> I was up till four a.m. I can I can. I made two finals also. You know. I I can confirm that Jeff was up until four a.m. that night. I was up until three thirty. Uh, or I was but, heading yeah. back up to my room but at 3.30 like after finishing up paper, the uh, editing. And, uh... Okay. They, 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 so the players had a chance to sharpen their skills in between the late, late night in which we pulled the chips to figure out what game they are playing in. And I think that the players playing in the Brass Birmingham probably had a lot more Super work to do than there. the players playing yes. in Carcassonne. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, think, I think that's a fair assessment. Yes, the, the first version. That's was, why they, not... they just... There was everyone had a lot of tax the, the fees I'll be, I'll be to pay fun. and uh, there was one turn I I was one gold away from buying a four, a four point cow a four value brown cow and if I'd have got that that would have turned my whole engine on but being one gold short I never four bought four couldn't sell for the higher value and then I could never get out of debt you know? this is so Jeff I, talking yeah, about his Great Western Trail yes, final yes he's spoiling some stuff I guess. <laughs> So it's funny. I ended up losing by 18 nope. points, but it, you know, I so was are, are one we mute that out probably, later so that you know, uh, right in the thick of things. Does it doesn't give away that? No, no. <laughs> on your, remember to put on your guy, okay? Because it's the yeah, yeah. The, it's it's the turn order determination. Yes. And this passes to you. Yep. And I think I'll be using your freshly minted iron. What do you think? Uh, I just need to. No, I. Definitely going to be using the first thing that's an iron is the beginning of where I want to do it from. Um, and so, just going back a little bit, we we see how silly. much of a learning curve this game this game has because the board is is simultaneously open but really dependent on the cards that you have in your hand. As David was trying so, to play, he played first, he played a beer and I said, "Okay, maybe I can play this beer well, over here." Well, but you need if you're playing a card yeah, that yeah, has so a type of resource on it. You have to play it in a place in your in, in your existing network. The only way you can branch out your network is playing a specific city card. That's why holding on to those city cards is really valuable because it helps you jump across the board and potentially get more influence on other states. Yeah, it's an interesting game. You have you have just enough hand size to have just enough knowledge to get you in the right amount of trouble. <laughs> Well, technically, there's five weeks in one of those three months, so it's 26 games, but I'm not here to miss work. <laughs> Luca talking about his experience in brass. Well, everyone thinks, the common assumption is that there's four weeks in every month, but there's actually 30 days, so there's technically, every third month, there's five weeks, so every three months, there's 13 weeks, not 12. Yeah. Two more times. So that's going to cost even $2. just that sort of observation from Jeff shows that he's he's got a mathematical brain. <laughs> I I wouldn't feel like you had it completely in the bag if I was Luca. 
I'd feel confident, but the way that these players are already adapting and you can see the knowledge sinking in uh, is exciting to watch. And, and also, I, I, I don't think this is going to be a blowout whatsoever. Um, income or do we the, no, the do this are first. playing okay, pretty so well yeah. first, first second, relative to their experience third fourth clear the money I think what's going to be really uh, meaningful to later on in the game, and this is something that, that I have found right, whenever I play is a, that I forget two, to keep track four, of the turn order I forget Liam to think and, ahead uh, and look Sorry, where I'm going and look who might need to make a so move Liam, that I want and I might be fighting for that. I forget to calculate that and try to get ahead of them the Italian stallion in the that turn order. And, and that's, now, that's going to be something to watch out. Uh, but, uh, wait, so the, so you get two money. Yeah. Yeah, you get $2. Did you take your two? Two for income, I guess. Two for income. Yeah. And then I'm first to act. Yeah. Money's very, very tight, very early in this game. And that tightness of the money can cause you to overinvest in trying to to get a bigger income, which you do want to do, but you don't want to go too far in that direction, and then you lose out on the points that you need to get. Levi redrawing back up to eight because you spend two cards, and it's also very easy to forget to draw those two new ones because you're so focused on the other cards and the other options that you do have in your hand. Indeed. Most of the time, the first time you play brass, you get to the end of the game, you go, Somebody, something's wrong here with the cards left in the deck. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> that definitely happened in my first game of brass. And we ended up just taking one of the cards that we set aside and said, okay, well, you take one of these then, and then we're all good. <laughs> Which, in a friendly game, a house game, you know, is completely fine. In, in a game like okay, this, that would be... Uh... Uh... Let's start <clears throat> by playing a coal. So I, I can overbuild with a coal because it's in my network. This right? is an so interesting play here. So one of the things that you can do in this game is you can do a thing called overbuild. This level two coal. And you can so overbuild on top to of all your own building. I'm going to make change for uh, my 15, It's going to take away the so victory five, five points that you've got, but you're not going to lose the victory board. points that you've already Legal scored. Play. You're Seven just not going to get those cost. 50 points scoring again the next time. But if you're overbuilding over like the top of a on level one building, which one I think he five was, five. it's not really that, that so big of a deal. And it can help with your network so problems. Yeah. yeah. So I, think that's a, I think that's a great move. That's, that's, that's a really smart move, especially because that, that level one coal building, okay. it's used for generating income. And so that would have generated him income, but it only generates him one point. So losing that I'm one point, well, we'll see if uh, Jeff build, loses by one point down at the end of the game, but I, I wouldn't think it would be that significant. A Toxeter yes. playing a level two beer. Um, that's going to cost a base cost of seven gold and one iron. Iron's currently valued at two, so that's going to be nine gold. I'm going to go ahead and place ten here, taking one change from the spent action on level one. That goes back to my coffers. I'll stack the 16 total costs spent here. This will be placed here with one barrel resource on it. So I think that's a very, very strong play that's, early on. Uh, that he is has my action. That maybe some of the turn. weaker network Leon, spots, but he yeah, definitely Leon, has a good Leon. connection for getting Levi, his beer out. Levi, what, why, I've been saying Liam this whole time. You just now. I, I, I just, oh, I did not, I did not realize <laughs> sorry, you were talking to me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know why, I don't know why I thought it was Liam. I must have played against a Liam yesterday, but I knew it was an close, L. Close sorry, enough, dude. yeah, close enough. Well, you called me Rodney. So <laughs> yeah, that's fair, that's, that's my mistake. So the only thing I, I understand think about that play that's interesting is, if, I, um, if I'm reading the board correctly, I think that that's a rail only connection. Right. You're correct. Um, and so he's not going to have access to that beer until the second age. But playing for the second age is still uh, a very strong uh, play that he'll well, have an opportunity to capitalize on later. What I think, what I think is great about that is because beer functions in a very, in a, in a way that's kind of a blend of coal and iron. So coal, you have to be connected to use it. Iron, you don't have to be connected to use it. For beer, if you want to use someone else's beer you must be connected to use it. If you want to use your own beer, you don't have to be connected. So okay. locking that down in a level two spot, two. Jeff is allowing himself access to that beer only 
for the first round. It's a level two beer, so if he doesn't get to it, it'll stay on the board, uh, and he can use it later. So if he if he decides to use the beer that's free in the markets, he can still use that beer first and then keep his beer as like a late game sell. So I think that location and locking that down feels like a really significant play. And because it is only connected by rail ages, railways, which we haven't uh, talked about for those who, who might be new uh, learning the game. Uh, in the first age, there are canals that you can build. In the second age, you can build railways. But some places on the board only let you build railways instead of canals. And so that uh, that's what it, that's what it is, uh, where Jeff played, <laughs> uh, is one of those is one of those areas. And. It just means he he has a backup, but can use the beer at the market, which no one has yet used. No one has. Everyone's still building their engines, investing in coal and iron, and developing, and developing the various strategies. Another loan comment here. And you'll see how far Levi went down. It's actually four spaces, but it's three down on the income track. That's what we were talking about a little bit earlier. Yeah. Showing that the further you get up, the more the loans will cost you to repay. Yeah, I feel like that's a great play by Jeff. Levi, it looks, has developed both level one and level two off of his uh, cotton. Yeah, which is pretty committed to going to a big cotton. He is invested in going big cotton, getting getting those cottons out early because if he gets that level three cotton out and it gets flipped, it's worth nine points to score at the end of each age. So if he's able to flip it in this first age, he scores 18 points for that. He's fairly which, committed to that play. He has he has to make that play in this in this canal era. And Levi getting the benefits of having an iron out on the board and knowing. And you see Luca does exactly the same thing as, as Jeff and locks down that other key spot. Beer is also, beer is also like a teleporting resource. He flies, yeah. Well, if it's, if it's, it's yours, yours, if it's your own. yours, it doesn't need to be connected. Okay. If you want to use someone else's, you have to be connected. Yeah, yeah Luca explaining what we were talking about. That's a that's a pretty clutch location to lock down, especially if you're working with level two beer, as both of these players have developed off of their board. And we finally see the first sellable good other than beer well because you you use beer to sell but you don't sell it on the board uh luca having developed out his level one in the manufactured goods uh now places it on the board in canic and you can see where he's already established his network between shrewsbury and colebrookdale uh you can you can see that's the route at which he's going to take to sell that manufactured good and get a pretty big income, uh, not income bump, but victory point bump as well. The the level two manufactured good will cost, will give you one up on the income track and will give you five points when, when you're able to flip it. Oh, I thought you were counting my money. I thought you were sizing me up, you know? No, no, no. No, okay, all right. Oh, you're working on $26 over there? Which is basically what I end up with at the craps table when I put down a hundred. <laughs> oh, that's a good night. If I'm lucky, yeah. A very specific number. <laughs> But I love I love this atmosphere around the table. Like these players are playing for pretty big stakes. It is a seat in the final table, which guarantees you a cash prize. Uh, everyone has already won uh, a, a, a a world champion ring valued at over two thousand dollars, valued at two thousand dollars. But 
you want to make it to that final table because that's the only way you're going to walk away with $25,000. So with $25,000 on the line, it's really nice to see the friendliness and sportsmanship at the table. And even just going back to that early play, the, the potential misplay by Jeff and Luca pointing out, actually, to clarify the rules, you, you have to do it this way. If they were playing in a mean way, Luca could say, no, you place that down first, and then your network is there. Now you can't flip your coal. But uh, the obvious choice and the obvious uh, strategic decision was one thing. And so they said, listen, that's, that's how it's going to be. That's what we're going to allow. And I just like seeing that. I, I like seeing the sport and the spirit of everybody at this table. Yeah, we're ha- I'm actually we're having a great time. Are you still making jokes? I have been trying. You can hear yeah, um, a certain commentator talking early. to the table. He thought not, I was not, some guy not, named Rodney Smith, yeah, but not, I don't know who that not, is. Not, not, all, not all of them have landed, but, you know. Is Rodney Smith, Smith a normal. poker player? Or what no, is he's, 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 he's got like 100,000 subscribers in the board game. Oh, uh, uh, okay. okay. That guy, yeah, yeah. Someone told me I should start a YouTube channel or a TikTok or something. Something like that. I didn't know whether I should... Do it or be I would be very impressed. When they said I should uh, yeah. be a TikTok can you, influencer. Can you, that's, can you give him $4? Yeah. That's, 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 that's actually how you could become famous, <laughs> is if you can do what Rodney Smith does in YouTube videos, but make it in TikTok duration and, and teach board games in like the 60 seconds. That's a pretty good uh, pretty good idea from Levi. <laughs> There's the, the five-minute board game, right? Have you ever seen that? that? Wait, sorry. The five-minute board game? Did he, did he, I haven't. Jeff and Levi are making yeah. plans for after this, no, no, no. and Luca yes, is yes, stone cold like, focused. A big flip of the coal, the coal investment by Jeff early on, his level two that he overbuilt, and now you can see him move up on that income track. He's going to start being able to generate that income. And that's what Cole is good for, All right. is getting that income track going. Yeah, he's definitely going to be in the hunt on this game all the way through. He's, he's got a good income start. He's got good barrel placement. And he's got a lot of money. It looks like David uh, has $31 in his stack. I'll run to the restroom while you grab Levi, and then we'll take a... Let's do Paul's. Your first Paul's, right? Yeah. I'm going to run to the restaurant real quick. So Me? I'll just, yeah, just go till check out. They're just pausing. We will, uh, we will yeah, cut to when they're first. back. Yeah. Right. Cool. Uh, Bathroom break for everyone. Uh, They've been up all night. Yes. They're uh, taking a pause, and we will be back. We'll cut we'll right back the when, uh, <laughs> when they come back. Josh, dutifully watching the board <laughs> to make sure there's no monkey <laughs> business while the players are away. Sorry, we're here comes Jeff back, back from the break. It's I believe we need to reorder the yes. turn sequence. That's where we're at. Yes, and then in. All right, so. So it's. Uh, that should be the least amount. I believe it's. I believe it's yellow, white, uh, purple, red. I believe is our order. Because I have sixteen, you have seventeen or eighteen. What about thirteen? Yes, seventeen. I believe that's. Yes. 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 Okay. You're hoping I make a mistake there. Set you up, huh? <laughs> Smart place to pause right before the reordering of the turn. The, There's uh, so much to keep track of in this game. Yes. In your preparation? Did you yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be a trivia game about that error. Oh. <laughs> David was preparing for trivia. Let's see if those skills come in handy. If anyone, if anyone, if anyone builds a beer on Stafford or Hurt on Trent, no. Why we need to help? Well, I mean, I can help them help. <laughs> like, you know, I will flip it if you, uh, if you build it. That's, Levi, as we saw a little bit in, in Terraforming Mars, he's my type of player. I'm happy to ask the players. <laughs> yes, but they put 10 points to the higher beer. They need to get through their lower beers first. And I can be the one to facilitate that. <laughs> beer is such a valuable resource down the line. It's... Oh, okay, yeah. If you, if you, if you're, if hypothetically, if beer were to materialize on like Stafford or Burton on Trent or Derby, uh, I, I would, I would be flipping it. I think that's a pretty good to let to let people know they might want to flip their beer, and Levi could again have that economy of action and, and benefit both of them moving yeah. forward. Which in a four-player yeah, game, he's heavily committed to the con, so he's, he has a heavy commitment to the con. He has yeah. the 
has to get that down on the board. He's got to get it flipped. He's got to figure out the, the networks to get that all accomplished. And, and as you can see, we're, we're getting to the winding part of the actions. There's no more card draw left. So you're playing from your hand what you have in your hand, and every card's got to count to get you where you got to go. That's true. We're, we're heading into almost the midpoint of the game because every player is going to have four actions left, four turns left, basically. So we're at the midpoint of that first round. Yeah, you're, you're, you see nothing new. Everything, you now have perfect knowledge to the end of this, this uh, canal era for what you're capable of doing. Yeah. And this is tough, though, for Levi, who's oh. invested in, so heavily in Cotton. His network currently is by the... Oh, there we go. Yeah, there he places his Cotton down, and he'll be able to sell that oh, Cotton one iron. right away using the beer oh, in that market. market. He may not choose to sell right now. Because there are two beer there, he doesn't really have to worry about competition. For, for using that beer to sell yeah, that cotton. But that's a big play. He needed to get that on the board. I will take out a loan. Yeah, he doesn't feel the need to sell right now because there are those two free beer there and can plan in advance for his next his right. next turn. And you get that action efficiency if you're if you're doing multiple sales because you can sell more than one building on a single action if you have it all set up. That's so. exactly true. Yeah. Yeah. So if if he if he puts another cotton in stone, for example, if he has stone in his hand, he could then sell both cotton in one fell swoop. Definitely. I'm trying to get a peek at his hand. He's flashed it a few times in front of yeah. Him. Us, he so. might have stone. Well, that's a that's a yellow card, so that one's not stone. Stone will be a blue card. I've seen a few blue cards in his hand, though, but maybe that was that was the one he just played. I am that's, thinking that's that's what he's that's well, what he's probably eyeing as a play. I wonder if anyone's going to capitalize on that pottery. If you're yeah, able to put the pottery down and sell it. It's worth 10 points and a five so, income bump unfortunately, unfortunately we'd have to get a in that level one era. Afterwards, but I can't build a canal there. I would build the canal, but I would can't build it. Fine. Would you maybe flip a beer? I'll put it there. And I, give him five no, points I don't think so. nine points. Oh, okay. I mean, I... I if, 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 give you a beer. Well, yeah. if, if you... So, you a beer. so if you if you were to build a beer and then build a canal, I would... You uh, helping him a little bit too much. I, no, not You're not netting him four points if you do yeah. that. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> Just <laughs> Luca trying to make sure there is no uh, he knows people he knows benefiting each well other. Helping, <laughs> helping. You help each other. We help each other. Yes. He knows He's that. He knows that He's fully well. He knows that fully well. <laughs> you help each other if you net more points. Yeah. If you help him, he will net more points than you. So you don't want to help him. Like I, only, only, only on this building, but in the me, long you, term. In the long term. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, we would, because, I mean, what, what he's... He will what yeah, he, no, he twice I mean, the points, so. In the longer term, he'll net more points. What he's, what he's conveniently, he's pointing out the victory points. What he's conveniently forgetting about is the extra income, because these are only three income buildings. These are five there's income buildings. Beer besides there, I can build you some beer. Uh, Burton on Trent, I would also. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I mean, uh, that's true. A, a good, a good back and forth. Both players really playing to. Little gamemanship going on. <laughs> but it's true in this sort of game, if you're going to use other people's resources and you want your resources to be used in order to flip your your building. So if you're not going to be able to use those resources yourself, but you want the reward from flipping over the building then you're 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 going to want to know if other people plan to use your buildings or not beer is a pretty safe bet that it'll be used because beer is so important the only things that don't really require beer to be sold are the manufactured goods at level three and the manufactured goods at level seven otherwise selling anything of the cotton or the pottery requires beer. And as you move up on the pottery track, it requires two beer when you get into the level three pottery and the level five pottery. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. 
Or if you can pick it some and put it here oh. so we don't have to ask every single time. Yeah. It's but I, I just want to make sure I'm yeah. in control of this bank. If you want to be, if you want he to be who the, holds the banks holds the world or something like that, right? <laughs> if you want to be the bank, as the old adage goes, by me, but you will have to move. No, I am. Yeah, 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 no, I, I was being. So I was, it's uh, two of those go on there. Right? No, what no, you, it's no. not so Sorry, what first, action are you taking? What action are you taking? So it's call on that. So you need to pick the tile. Put it here first. Put it here first, so we know that. You and you can see in the players' uh, cameras, not on the top down, because that's where the players are, are over, there's a white sheet of paper. And uh, Brian, do you want to talk about that white sheet of paper and how important it has been in the World Series? Yeah, so this is the first edition of the WSBG specialty player mats that we're using to help make sure that actions are very clear to to every single player at the table. It's important that everybody knows what somebody's doing at the table. So everybody's has a responsibility to audit everybody's action. Just not just the player who's going next and the player who went last, but everybody has that sort of responsibility to make sure that the game state is kept correctly. And those boards help make uh, it very clear to you and clear to everybody else what's going on on your turn. And so you'll see, just to be specific with the actions, make sure all the payment is done correctly. There's no splashing of the pot here, to use a poker term. Uh, you'll want to be very clear of the resources that are being received and the resources that are being paid as well. Because it's easy to make a mistake. It's easy to make a counting error. It's easy to put something down that you shouldn't have. But it's, it's uh, ho we're, hopefully with the practices in play that everyone watching uh, you can see, oh no, actually you were supposed to pay $17 and you just paid 16 because you were dealing with loose change. Yes. I think the people around this table, and, and honestly everyone who has comp competed in the World Series, you can see no one has ever deliberately tried to, to, to pull the wool over people's eyes, but these are some long days and sometimes people get tired, so it's good just to have those things in place to, as a little backup oh, reminder of, of what should we do and, and everybody making sure we're all playing by the rules and i think that's how these high level players want to win as well you never want to win with uh, because of a, of a mistake by someone you never want to win because you paid one dollar less by accident you want to win honorably and uh you want to take home the victory in a righteous way i think i think that's uh that's how i would that's how i would approach it and i think that's how everyone I, I have certainly I seen at the World okay. Series have been approaching things as well. Definitely. But that, that yes. beer barrel did go down. Eight plus six. Yes. That was good. We it, they played yeah. that beer barrel in a very accessible location. So oh, wow. Uh, so, uh, so we've got four actions left. That's a surprising place for, for it to be played. It also blocks oh, off eight, stone yeah. if yeah. Levi was planning on placing his cotton there getting another cotton on the board that now that blocks him from doing so because in stone where where dave play, placed his beer you could have placed either beer or cotton that was a dual purpose spot there's still the ab ability to go up to leak though which is the top northmost part of the board So Levi could potentially put another cotton down there and a network and a cell, but that would be three of his uh, remaining six actions for this round. Yeah. And, and this, I think, is where the where the play is going to slow down a bit because you're trying to map out. It, it comes really quickly. You say, oh, my goodness, I only have four turns left. I only have eight actions remaining. How can I maximize my points on the board and my positioning moving into that all important second age. Hmm. Yes. Otherwise, you're 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 it's spending that. actions pitching, pitching to make turn, uh, you know? canals, which are okay, so just not efficient for most of the points, as and will be removed. Uh, yeah, exactly. Flex. Maybe canal, canal flex. Yeah. Okay. So action one. 
Um, let's see, so it would be 11 to build this. If I wanted to take the build action in Wolverhampton, I could play Wolverhampton, yes. build that for 11, yes. and that would be a legal plan. So we'll do that. Action one will be build. Um, here's 11 gold. And you can see another Five, interesting point six, of seven, the level eight, two manufactured nine, goods, nine. which both now Jeff and Luca That's have been one. putting on the board, this will go here. is that in the level two, the manufactured goods use iron. They require iron to be built, whereas in the level here. one, you need to have 15, access to coal. And so that five, limits five, where you can place those on the board. One, two, so being three, able four, to get out that five, level two manufactured good, not only change. it helps extend your network and sets you up for the next age, but uh, you, you don't have to worry about needing to access that coal and needing to put down those canals and potentially not necessarily wasting your turn action. investing in a network this round, but you can just build that network that will exist for the remainder of it. You still need to connect it in order to sell. Um. But this is also an interesting position for Jeff, depending what the turn order is. And this is where turn order is going to really come into play. You can see both him and Luca would want to sell at Shrewsbury on the side. But Jeff only has one action left and Luca has two. So if Jeff were to, be, were to build a canal... Luca would be able to build a canal and sell right on his next turn. And it seems like Jeff is building a, a connection, but not down towards Shrewsbury. He's extending his own network from up top. 14. 14 coins. So if Luca can spend less than 14 coins, if, if he wants to do this, he could build a network and then spend another action spending less money. He would be able to go before Jeff and be able to build that set second network and sell his manufactured good using the existing beer, and that would force Jeff to use uh, his beer up top that maybe he's been saving, or maybe Luca will choose to use the beer in uh, a tuxer, a tuxeter, that one in the middle that's only accessible by railways, because if you flip it, that's worth five points. Definitely, definitely has to be uh, running through his head how to make that happen. And at the point when you have beer readily accessible on the board, it it almost doesn't make sense to 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 use those beer in the market, especially heading almost into that second age, because you do get that income bump and you get that point bump. Is this that's one link? This is a really interesting decision space for Luca, depending how he wants to sell his manufactured good, because both him and Jeff are going to want to sell both of those manufactured goods at Shrewsbury, because the only other closest location, the other two places you can sell manufactured goods are down at the bottom in Gloucester and Oxford, and nobody's getting there at this point. Certainly not with canals. And you need to sell the manufactured good in this first age because they're worth five points and one income bump. So the manufactured goods are all... I have a sneaking suspicion we'll be the last ones to decide our <laughs> And you can see Ticket to Ride just finishing up. That was live streamed. They look behind them and they see the pressure is on. Now it's become real. One person is already headed to the finals and one member of this final table will be following them. Yeah, Luca making that count, seeing if he can beat beat Jeff to where he needs to go. So how many coins did he put down there? Uh, Jeff put down 14. Luca's still deciding. What is he, what are you building? Or, what's the action, sorry? Oh. And we're seeing that rail play. <laughs> Luca knows if he spends less than, Je less than Jeff. He can use that free beer, which if he's able to then use his own beer, 
and sell two for one, that's the optimal yeah. situation for Luca. Thanks. I always get confused with networks and connections, and you know, it's a tough oh, game. Different ways to do it. So we know Luca and Jeff Congrats, man. and, and Levi's sort of specializations. <laughs> David has yet to specialize, but we see David has some coal there just sitting in Dudley, but there's no connection to it. It's called Levi's Games and Stuff. <laughs> Levi talking about the... If if a store, a local game store, signs up for our partner program and then players uh, include their name uh, in their application when they're signing up for the World Series, that local game store can get them uh, can can get five thousand dollars just for just for having a player compete and having your you your player become the champion. We want to support our local game stores that make it happen. And uh, so make sure if you know a game you store and uh, tell them to sign up, right, tell them to go right. online to wsbgvegas.com uh, okay. and so get on board and sign up and register as one of uh, a competing game stores so that any players who come from that area can support their local game stores if they end up being the WSBG 2023 winner, which will be happening next year, same place in Bally's. It's been a purple week. <laughs> First, so there it is. Uh, Levi has made that position play to get to that white, purple, first yellow, turn in his oh, key turn. Oh. Yeah, Luca. Luca. Oh. I'm sorry, Luca. Yeah, no, yellow spin 17. That's a 15 oh, to one. Yeah, yellow spin 17. Because some for some yeah. reason they yeah. make a 15 yeah. token, which yeah, is the so dumbest slide. thing ever. Slide your token. And then you just slide to the right. Yeah, because we tied it. And then Luca gets to go again. Yes. The, Luca's the setting himself back, up. Back move. One strategy. It's, it's, it's clever. It's a clever ruse. Uh, purple four. Ah, yes. So I'm going to um, take five. You're paying two. Pay yep. one. Yep. They're getting their income. Levi forced to pay two as he's down in the oh, negatives. Man. Luca getting no income. Hey, at least you didn't get in the Carcassonne drama, you know? <laughs> Nothing, nothing, nothing gets more heated than a good old game of Carcassonne. <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone having fun over there? Hey. Jeff making sure to keep keep the mood light. I actually just fell asleep for a second, but uh, I'm back now. Don't worry. Taking a nice nap to recover from that 4 a.m. all-nighter. You're right. Now that that extra canal is an, is a really interesting play from Luca, and you can see that he's going to want to capitalize on that free beer as well to see if he can set himself up for a double sell. He is. I, I'm interested to see how he plays this out because he, he it's probably what he wants to do. And he's probably assuming that Jeff will want to flip his own beer rather than take the the free one. But if I were Jeff. And I could only sell one, knowing that Luca could be set up for two. I would take the free beer, and wait to flip my my own over, because the manufactured goods also would net uh, five points. There's also a chance Luca could develop his other manufactured good number two off the board, and just try to get his number three out there. But number three requires coal. So you'd need to be connected to the market. It requires a lot more money to get on the board. So it, it that doesn't feel like it would be an optimal play. Taking a loan. He's taking a loan. Taking a loan. Setting himself up for a big play to make sure he, he's got the money to, to buy those additional yeah. manufactured goods. 
See that. I keep the other the other I'm things that could be played in uh, wall saw, which that. is what Lucas connected to in the middle of the board, is uh, iron or manufactured good on the left, and then manufactured good or beer on the right. Mm -hmm. So it feels unlikely that Luca would be going for any of those other ones. Want, likely he'd be going for manufactured goods. There's a potential he could be going for another beer on the board, but if you don't play your beer and you play it in the second age, it then gets two beer on it instead of one. So it's almost, it's a push and pull of when do you play things it is. when not. Luca dropping the, the second manufactured good into Wolverhampton. One thing that we didn't mention, uh, for those of you who are watching, you may have been thinking, why couldn't Jeff have played in Wolverhampton? And in the first age, uh, I believe you cannot play in the same city more than once. So Jeff, Sorry, having played in Wolverhampton first thing. with his manufactured Talk good, he, he couldn't play there again. So, so same with uh, hypothetically, Luca and Dave rails get built or canals. couldn't play in Colebrookdale. Do these automatically no. go to the market? No, no. they will remain on they the board. Okay, then, so if these get created, mm -hmm. and then someone builds this, that would still sell here? Yes. Okay, and then there would be one remaining on it if it was in that if current was, game yes. state right now. All right. Even if you build it right now, it will sell. Because it's right, yeah, yeah, you don't need those don't connections need those, to yeah. sell, but uh, okay, my, my, yeah. For right. the call, it has to be connected in the moment that you are putting the call. Got it, got it, got it, got it, okay. If you have a way of uh, building beer and Burton on track, Sure. Levi desperately trying to get more beer on the board. He's <laughs> not beneficial to you. Well, well it's going to be a, it's going to be one sell action. Right? I think, but he's playing. I like where he's going. Yes. Go the political. Uh, he's okay. not beneficial. <laughs> it is beneficial because it's going oh, to give. I can tell you the math. Three level three cottons are twenty-seven points. He's, he's yeah. Two the, level two beer are ten points. He's counting You're the points. Netting 17 he's, points. he's not mentioning the income. The income has. The income does nothing. He's the first tiebreaker. Points are the win. <laughs> well, yes, points win the game, but Amazon wants you to yeah. think you know how to play points. this game? He's I, afraid of you. I don't no, think no, he's trying to get no. point from you. No, he, uh, he I'm, knows, I'm he knows that this is a game of collaboration. Fourth, that's no, 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 no. <laughs> but here's the thing. He knows it's a game of collaboration, and he's yeah. trying to convince. It's like it's like collaboration if you can to, get the point. Get point. Like so, so as an as a, as a obviously non-biased partisan here, you need to be cautious about giving him too much advantage and not getting enough for yourself, right? It's impossible to give no one any advantage right. at any point, right? You can't play this game in a vacuum. Right. So you need to weigh how much advantage you're if, giving him. But it, it, oh, sorry. You need to weigh the advantages <laughs> of each of your moves individually. I would, I would say that we should probably stop trying to play so politically, let each other play their right. own game, right? Like player. Are you, are you okay with the banter? Or uh, I'm okay you with want to it. Yeah. Okay. My yeah. personal <laughs> thoughts is that you don't want to let him run away with the very high value cotton right. plays. So Did you so think he could pull this off from what we've talked about? I've, yes. I've only, yes. I've, I, I'm only intending on building three cotton. We'd have more income. If given the choice. Well, if, if, now that I'm done with that, because they have told me that they both think you can okay. actually pull this off okay. instead of him. All right. So I need to be careful. Okay. That's fair. That's a, right. fair weighing in around the table. But Levi trying to get those three cotton, cotton, cotton out, which would be huge. Three cotton feels just yeah. enormously fair enough, fair enough. like it, it really would give Levi because it would give him 27 points, but it would actually give him 54 points because he's got all the three cotton. But then that gives him this to go on there. Is that too much? I don't think so, but maybe it is. I don't know the game well enough to know if it helps. We have four action left. Left. No, I don't, I, I don't think he's going to go there. I don't think that affects him. Okay. You all right with that? But well, you got to live your own life, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. you got the so, oh, I love it. I'm not sure why um, Levi was trying to get more cotton or more beer down on the board if he's only planning to sell cotton. Uh, he can sell two cotton already. He can sell three cotton already up in Warrington if he was able to build and connect to it because of Dave's existing beer there and the two beer that are already there in Warrington. Oh, yes, okay, okay. So you're building a link, so put the link here so we know that you're building a link. Okay. What I love seeing in this high level game is that no one has yes, tried to sell earlier okay. than this. 
All of the beer that has remained, that has started on the board, is still on the board, and some players only have four turns left, four actions left. And that, again, speaks to how aware everyone is about the efficiency of actions. Because if you can sell everything together in one fell swoop, rather than selling them one at a time, that gives you an extra action, which is so important to hold on to. If I was Levi, though, I would be making exactly the same arguments and trying to get people to do what you want around the table. I feel Brass is one of those games where you want you you want to manipulate the state, but this is coming from someone who's uh, who's also a pretty a pretty uh, that's my Catan strategy. I'll say is talk long enough until what you want to happen happens. Awkward coming from only because I'm the table talk guy, but can you guys stop negotiating on my turn so I can because like. Yes, just fine. a lot. It's like in Catan when like they're like, "Hey, can I get a word for a sheep?" And I'm like, "It's my fucking." <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sorry. So, and I don't have. Jeff, if appears, can hear me yeah, talking about my Catan. The weakest no, wait, resource, but whatever. We'll talk later. No, I actually, Brick is. Um, Ooh, disagree. Uh, well, roads are for chumps. Uh, They're all preparing to play in the Catan final. Eleven, huh? <laughs> Eleven, yes. Discussing Catan strategy. Or Catan. I always say Catan, and I feel I'm pronouncing it wrong. But I'm stuck in my ways, Brian. It's a, a tomato-tomato oh. thing. Exactly. Let's just call the whole thing off. <laughs> <laughs> so I can build a... I can connect there, right? Because yes. it's connected to that, yeah, right? And I can connect there because it's connected to that, right? Yes. Okay. So one, two, and I have six actions left. It's interesting too. The players might be that Unless. one beer that Davis put out the bo out on the board up in stone. I think is going to be hotly contested by a lot of the players because yes. but all, Jeff and Luca just need one connection point in order to use that if they want to but it's going to be a race to see if levi can use it for his cotton or if uh the others can use it for additional um, manufactured goods that they've I built see everyone's discard files? yeah so so luke is in a pretty good position is, right? to it's a, to drop and flip no not the bottom no. maybe getting a third Ooh, manufactured okay. good whereas um jeff is you. is probably uh one beat of tempo behind Luca on this play. So we'll see how this pans out. And it's tough too, if they're both going for manufactured goods by Luca building that network to uh, Walsall, he stops Jeff from being able to build a network there and then using a resource card to build there. Now you have to have Walsall, which there's only one card in the game, I believe. Yeah, there's only one card in the game that lets you build at Walsall. So being able to connect to it allows you so much more flexibility than not. Dave really going for the iron and coal strategy. He's using his own coal to build up his own network of iron. Okay, so let's try this. First action, we're going to... I'm going to discard New Neaton. Okay. And I'm going to spend $3. So here's a five payment there. Uh, with that five, I'm going to do Twa Cat Sank. Change. I'm going to build a canal or a network. So, so he, might, he might be trying to act first in the next the next round here so that's he may true play very tight to his vest with his money are you going to my hotel room really quick second action i think that's exactly what he's trying to do if he stays he knows what luca spent for seven and an iron i'm taking the build action or maybe not i don't think he, yeah he, 
That's it, that he spent 10, uh, and Luca looks like he back. has spent 6. Yes. I'm going to sum these to 10. Okay. That completes my turn. Nope. Yes. No draw. You can see as we, we're building to the end of the canal age, the pace is slowed down. People, it's get, and the tension has ramped up as well. I'm gonna build a canal. So Levi said he wants to build three cotton. That is a lot of money. It's sixteen dollars for every level three cotton, plus a coal and an iron. Both Levi and Luca still in the negatives in their income, and Dave at three and Jeff at four. So if I were to build a canal here and then build a building here, I'd have access to the coal market, right? Yes. Okay. So three for canal. It's interesting that Levi's building up there because the only thing you can sell is pottery. And then the cost of the... And there's also no way to connect uh, Belper to Lear. Those are the top two. Right. Plus one because, eight. again, that is one of those rail age yes. connections. So... Which is easy to miss. I need to break this five again. So five... And Levi yeah, builds the cotton up there, but that's going to be really hard so to be able to sell. May, it, it could be yeah, that Levi 18, yes, might might have overlooked that cotton can't be sold there or that the connection between Lear and Belper is not able to be built this round. Or it could just be an investment in the future. It also depends on the, whatever cards you have in your hand. Sometimes... With the cards that you have, you can only set yourself up for later. Now, there is another action that we didn't talk about that I doubt we will see played in this game. But you can discard a card uh, to get a random, uh, not a random, but a wild location or a wild resource. You can basically exchange some cards in your hand for wild resources, and then that will allow you to play anywhere you want on the board, which can be really beneficial later on in the game, but it also uses one of those actions, and actions are just so important I'm that four. you really have to be Why in a bind, or you really need to need it. Yes, you'll discard two Why actions would? to get one wild action, which is yes. something you probably want to avoid. Slide the markers over. We'll see how this plays out here. The, oh, the yeah, yeah, and then, and then. But we see Jeff did spend less than less than Luca. He was calculating that Luca must have spent eleven, and Jeff yeah. had spent ten, which is again really important. That turn order can the value of that turn order cannot be understated. So he's probably going to. Go build, sell here, probably. But he may be thinking if he has another... It's true. Uh, it depends. If, if he has way. that important wall saw card, he could build his second manufactured goods and sell both. How much money does he have? Jeff's running low on money. It looks like he may only have $10, which... Oh, yes. That's... Is certainly not enough to... Or might be exactly... Oh, no, that is exactly enough to buy one manufactured good at a level two because there is iron okay, currently so on the board. Action, we're going to go $10 for the build action. And that's exactly what he does. He has the money Stafford. into Stafford. It's not yet connected. But if he's able to connect it down the line on his next turn... Second action, 
he can then use We're gonna discard David's beer iron to do his double sell. To take a loan? And that's exactly what he's trying to set himself up for. Having the money to... Although he, so he would have had the money to... Total. To three. get it, because his income was high enough, he would have had at least three, but then that would leave him yeah. not a lot to, to do anything for the last turn. That seems oh, that yeah. seems tough, though. Or or he's just gaining money for the next age as well, because the money carries over. Trying to keep keep himself in that first position. Yeah. Jeff's next action is going to be build a network and sell unless the network gets built for him. Luca could sell right now. But this is tough. This is, again, where turn order is going to be so important because if Luca wants to build that third manufactured good, which it looks like he's trying to do. Your negative income with no money. Uh, you need to sell, access, you need assets. To sell your... Industry that are on the board. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Levi brutal. thinking <laughs> that is a brutal thing. If you have no money and you have to pay it, Sorry, you have to sell cost, stuff right? oh, cost on the board. Half their cost round it. If you need to sell them because you can't pay your loan. That is so not a bad. situation you want to get into. Brick doesn't buy development cards. You're crazy. <coughs> Back to that conversation. Sorry, but Brick doesn't buy development cards. So well, yeah, trash. yeah, but I mean, so we're gonna get some Catan points while we're <laughs> developing. We're gonna get some Catan, Catan tips. But the whole point of the game. But you need. You can't just build two cities for like you know. It's four points. You're gonna. You're gonna. Get, you're gonna, yeah, you can, you're yeah. gonna get all. All you're gonna get all the points off of the. I don't even think there's six victory points in the deck. Longest road. You're plenty. You don't need Brick. Steel brick. Use the knight. I mean, two to one bricks, you can trade it for the good resources. Oh, that's a strategy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what you do is you get the development card, you use the knights, and then you steal the brick you need, or monopoly the brick. That makes sense. Well, I mean, you don't need brick to road build. Road building card. Oh, yeah, road building too. card. Yeah, that's better. You know, the least resources you need to win is road, settlement, four cities, long, large army. I think we're seeing why uh, we haven't seen any of these four competitors in the Buildings Catan final. The rail area. <laughs> Sorry? Do buildings persist into the rail area? If they're level two or more, yes. Two and twos and threes, too. Yeah, okay. And four and fives, yeah. And six and eight. It has to be two or more. Luca really taking a long time to figure this out, but the turn order for the last turn is going to be so important in this battle between him and Jeff. These are his last four plays. He's got to get them. He's got to get them right. I think we saw Dave whisper to Levi, "Hey, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to help you out with selling that one." <laughs> I think that I think that's what he was saying. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> nice of him to let him know. Are there any level one buildings on the board? That's the question. I think the irons, some of the irons are level one, but for the most part, the rest of the buildings should be staying on the board moving into moving into the Iron Age. Yes, and so this, this is one thing that I was talking about before is one of the things that happens when we, when we go from age to age is that you're going to keep your level two buildings on the board, which is going to also dictate where your starting networks happen in the next era. So some of the players are playing around the periphery of the board, and then Dave and Luca have a little bit stronger position into the center of the board. So that's, that's going to change the pace of the game going into the rail era a little bit. So... And we might see Dave take off into the bottom area of the board as well and, and be uncontested. Uh, again, it all depends on what cards you get in your hand because the building, the, the location cards can send you wherever you need to be. But 
you don't want to bank on getting a specific location card. You want to set yourself up so that no matter what cards you get in your hand, you can get rid of the ones you don't want and keep the ones you do want and really maximize on your position that you set up in the first age. Right. And also because the board end tends to get completely filled uh, during the second era, the, where you where you're able to place your rails down early and claim those big rail spots early is fairly significant. So being able to plop down a six rail spot is um, something worth considering. So we'll see how that that goes here. Wow. And Luca plays manufactured goods, but not where I was expecting. And that's because he, I think, has moved on to his level three manufactured goods. Or it could just be because of the card he had in his hand. He needs to place it in a place where he has access to coal because it requires two coal. This cost him $12 as the baseline, and then he spent another 5 for the coal, so spent 17 on placing that manufactured goods in a place where it's pretty far away from being able to be sold. And he's not going to be able to act before Jeff now, is that correct? I think Jeff is under, underneath him in the coins. That's true. Going into the next age, the same turn order determiner happens. And we still have the last round to play. Close one. So that third one doesn't require a beer. Doesn't require beer, yes. And does it not have any link? No link, yeah, okay. You can hear them talking. The third one, like we were saying earlier, is one of the only tiles that doesn't require beer to sell. Just like level seven of manufactured goods. <laughs> you are talking about? It's surprising to me that no one's gone for the pottery especially since pottery seems uncontested. But the thing about pottery is that while uh, level one buildings get removed from the board, at, and if you still have any level one buildings on your particular player board, you have to use the develop action. You can see uh, Brian checking in in the background. So you know, we're basically done at that point. Ain't no problem. Just We're almost ah. at the halfway point of the game. Thanks for uh, letting me learn a new game. You know, this is nice of you guys. Yeah, yeah it's actually a lot of fun. I, I, I was thinking I should have practiced, you know, some of the other games, and I was like, well, you know, what are the odds I actually win one of these, uh, you know, what, if, what are the odds I actually make the semis? Like, well, I mean, why should I train at all these games? Like, let me just get good at the four, yep. and then I won, and now I'm like, I wish I had yes. played 10 more games with Lang, you know, France or whatever. Uh, yes. And we see the pottery getting go. dropped There's down. There it is. Pottery. So he's going to make a big play for some big points. Is it? And pottery, that's a level one pottery. Is that? What yeah, that's a level one pottery. But like, like I was saying before, we were listening to to Jeff talk about his training strategy, which is which is legitimate. It, it is tough. It is tough to train for all sixteen of these games. You're going to want to spend your time training for the ones that you're in, and then when you make the semifinals, your board game skills are put to the test. Uh, in terms of how adaptable you are and how able you are to learn on the fly. Um, but the level one uh, pottery so is bad. not is able to be played no, in the second no, age, first, which is different from sense. all the other level one tiles. All the other level one tiles have to be developed off of your board, but the level one pottery doesn't have to be developed off your board and can be played in the second round. So people are able to potentially use that level one pottery uh, and get those 10 points that is associated with it. Looking at the income track, no one has been focusing on income. They are just getting by on loans and trying to propel their points forward, which is interesting to see. I find in these games, I always focus on income. That's my inclination because I feel like you have to get a good income going, and then you can buy more things. But if you're able to navigate it without needing that extra income, like Luca was saying earlier in uh, deference to Levi's uh, attempted conversations with David and trying to convince him 
uh, it's about points. It's not about the income track. And you can see that represented by Jeff being in the lead of the income track with one income, David at zero, uh, Levi at minus two. And uh, as soon as Levi moves, we can see, I think, I think uh, Luca at minus six. He's got some cards that are a little away from the action here. These will end up being some second era investments here. Absolutely. Levi's like Cotton and uh, Luca's uh, manufactured goods, both in that Darby and Belper area are no good until they can be connected. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Um, I want to make a change while we're doing that. 15, 5, 10. Go to board in 15. 15. Sorry, that was the grossest way to yes. do that. I, it all slipped out of my hands. I'm nervous, you know, the pressure. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, you caught me. So I'm here. Man. I had a friend one time, he just kept making change, and I was like, dude, I guarantee you're trying to do something funny. He's like, I'm going to make change. I'm going to make change. And I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing. Levi really pondering his moves, seeing if he can eke out in some way that extra cotton cell. Y'all have a rum and coke. That's early. It's now. It's still at an o'clock. Probably shouldn't start drinking yet. You know. I mean, oh, I'm supposed to keep it PG for the folks at home. Jeff letting the pressure get to him. <laughs> Trying to squeak out one more play, but I don't think he's able to find it. I don't think he is either. I'm going to build a canal. Yeah. He's trying for it. Where is this canal going to so, be? Probably up uh, top, I'd assume. Five Between Stoke-on-Trent and Leak. That would really be the only place to go. taken a loan he'll move down to he gets 25 basically from that loan because he's going to have to pay five back at the beginning of his income phase and then levi's last two moves i think we'll see the last two moves come fairly quickly because everyone set themselves up levi's got to play his cotton and sell and he also puts himself in a position to use dave's beer if he wants to Instead of one of the one of the beers, if he thinks that his competitors might be trying to use that beer as well. This 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 set of plays should all be flip, 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 flip. flip. Yeah, that's what you're that's what you're setting yourself up for, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I did, I did, I got my dollar because I was at thirty one now. It's yellow. Hopefully this puts you back at a reasonable income position when you're when you're done with this. That's true. That's going to cost eighteen. Ten It's the token here that you're going to build. I think you got to build that. 
and not built there? No, because it's it's a rail only. Oh yeah, I know that. Oh okay. I'm just gonna sell two. Where are you selling to? He's gonna build Warrington. build a new oh, one. Oh, the Warrington guy. Right, right, right. Is there eighteen? Like yeah, like we thought, uh, he would build his cotton, and, and then sell his two. But here's the choice: Is he going to use? If he uses oh, the beer in the market, if he uses the beer in the market, he gets back ten coins, which isn't insignificant. But if he only uses one and then flips David's, then he gets back five coins and potentially denies Luca making a connection and selling. He's using the beer in the market, getting the ten dollars, and it makes sense because I don't think anyone's going to need to use Dave's beer. Maybe Jeff might. Jeff might need to make the build and sell. That might be exactly what he's doing. But he also might want to flip over his own beer. So, if he builds and sells, then he just gives Luca the chance to build and sell for three. Oh, oh, it's still preserved. Oh no, is it? The cost. The yeah. cost is yeah for the next round. Oh, oh, yes, for the, yes. Yeah, okay, so that, I paid. I paid nineteen. <coughs> nineteen. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's got to get his counters on the board yeah. because next round is just as important as the ones before them. This feels like a really tight game. So, my first action will be to spend. It yeah, feels like at this point, David might be a little bit behind because he hasn't quite specialized in right one there. specific resource. He ain't got a lot of double scoring going sell. into this, so I'll flip all four. this round. One. Right? One. Yes. Two. Three. And Jeff using both of his own beers four. in order to get a huge bump uh, and a huge beers, amount of points. So he Jeff needed one, to build that two, link, needed to build that seven, connection in order to connect his manufactured goods yeah, from Stafford down to Shrewsbury because that's the only place he could have sold manufactured goods. Yeah. So you can see that huge income jump from Jeff. Uh, now it's yeah, seven income, the most we've been, seen uh, this game. Yep. And also by flipping those, he's able to get pretty much 20 so points or 40 points. Because all of those that he flipped were in the level two and will be sticking around. Luca doing a similar play, trying to get that other beer on the board to flip and match Jeff's 40 points. He'll be building, the, building that beer and flipping both of his own beer. Very, very tight game. I do like uh, Luca's center board presence a little bit better going into the central age. but um, I think so too, yeah. Jeff does have a, a sizable income advantage here, though. So That's true. Luca has managed to dig himself out of his uh, negative hole. And Levi, as well, is uh, back to neutral from his uh, when he was down at minus five. Here's the problem for Dave, is that it's hard for him to connect his pottery... To, to anywhere where he can actually sell them. Dave won't be able to sell his pottery this round. And that's going to be a huge blow. Which I think he's realizing now. Maybe I'll win fantasy if I don't, if I don't pull this out. This is a tough position for Dave to be in. I'm not sure what his best option is other than to just get prepared for the next round and try to set himself up in those main positions. You'll see Birmingham is the only spot on the board that has four spaces. Dave already has established his uh, presence in there. And if he's able to build in there quickly and build networks out of there quickly, that can end up being a lot of points. Network points, at the, especially at the end scoring in the last round, can be worth a lot of points. And anything connected to Birmingham is something that you want to watch out for. 
And I get, I guess, income well, doesn't matter too much, but it, it not but I have a little, yes, a little, no, no, no. A little bit of income might might be able to work with that. <laughs> Jeff seeking a consult from Luca. Now, the sheet is starting to get very, very expensive. So that's why the income is going up. Yeah, yeah. It's what seven when you're spending like thirty every day, you know. I think scoring wise, we'll be within three points. I'm adding it up right. Something like that. So there's two major ways to score as we were talking about points on flipped buildings and then also networks. So as we were saying, but just for a recap to those of you who might just be tuning in, uh, the points of the canals are scored based around how many flipped buildings they are connected to. And most flipped buildings only will give you one point uh, being connected to it, but there are some that give you two. All of the beer, if you're connected to beer, you'll get two points for that. And then and and you get one any of the level, the level two cotton, the level the one manufactured good and cold, rails, yes, and that's uh, and the level five manufactured good. Yeah, yeah, you get the no matter, no matter but it doesn't count, count as one no, on its own. Count. Okay, I got it. I guess it wouldn't really matter too much because if everyone gets it, it's a kind of a wash anyway. So <laughs> what's the difference? Dave trying to figure out how to set himself up. So, it's two loans. <laughs> two loans. I have no idea what to do now. I, of course, I thought I was I, going to be able to sell them there. And, he uh, didn't want to beer. let me sell these ones, so he didn't. What's that? I didn't, he, he didn't, I didn't want have the actions. I, w I wanted these canals down. I wanted the canals first, to first to around. There. And we can see Dave, Dave falling into that trap of the pottery, not being able to be sold where it's connected to. He could have connected there, then you'd have been able to sell that there. Yeah. I didn't think about all that. I just thought I could sell it there. Yeah, no, you just sell it. I would have, I, yeah, I would have, I would have taken my, when, I, when I did my sell action, I would have, I would have wanted yeah. to use your beer. You're saying, so y'all are, y'all are pointing out that we had an agreement that he would flip that, right? And he, he did. No, 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 Nothing. He's saying that I should have built. He's saying that I'm. Sh I would right, let's have to these discussions after the game. Yes, okay. yeah, no, that's, that's part of my game. Not, yeah. Things that yeah, could have been. There's not. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I wanted. I, that's what I'm saying. I, I needed the canals here because I wanted to flip your beer to flip this, but I couldn't yeah. because it's not connected. I'm just saying that's part yeah. of my game. Yes, because he betrayed me. No, I didn't know. No, no, no. Right, no. I didn't know what they were talking. No, about. I didn't betray you. I very no, I much wanted to flip your beer. All right. I didn't I, know what you all meant. So I, I very much wanted to flip your like beer. Levi trust. desperately wanted that beer for sure. Yeah, for I'm gonna, he was working hard to hope that he would be able to be connected, but the canals just wouldn't wouldn't be put down. So eleven to eight. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's three, three full step. So oh. zero to minus one, three. Two. No, he was at one. He was at. Oh, I was at one. He was at eleven. So yeah. a minus yeah. two. Yeah, right there, right. Yeah, but it's a. A fool, you don't oh. count that he's going to be. Oh, one. I guess so. Right. Didn't, didn't see there was a one. Yeah, he was okay. a one. So if, if you are three, you go back to zero. Beer. You, okay. When you, when you, you take three. If I'm at seven, do I go to the four, 18 or 17? The, 18. the higher one. The higher of the, one of the. Okay. Thing. So when you take a loan, it's a full step. Yeah, when you, you take the income, it's that even. There's a lot to keep track of in this game, especially with the board state. It's easy to. Yeah. Miss out on those on those small details too of where do you put the token at the beginning of the income or at the end? Yeah, it's gonna be another one. Yeah, it's gonna be another one. And Dave just taking another loan. He's not ready to invest in board position just yet. He knows he has those spaces locked down, and he knows that he can't build in them right now. Maybe he can build can and really double right? down no, no. in Birmingham. Oh, yeah. White, he does have a pile to move and throw, so I'll probably through the entirety of yes. the next era, wow. but he has to, uh, yeah. he has really? to make good and quick uh, plays throughout because be he's going to be considerably behind. Yeah, he really needs to come out swinging. I, I think his best bet is to load everything up that he can yeah, no, in Birmingham and build all routes yeah. connecting around them and just get eight points for each one of those networks and then try to all sell right. from so there. So now it's the end of era scoring, correct? We can do income first or income after. 
Well, let's do income first, because I'm excited about my money. <laughs> okay, so we're getting three. Okay. You're getting seven. Seven. You're seven. You're getting one. And you're paying five. Those two loans resulting in 55 coins for Dave and not 60. But a lot of uh, debt. <laughs> now we can. So a, lot of, a lot of debt to get if past agrees, quickly. What we do is counting all the links in order. And then, the and then the building. And then we take out the building that are level one. Yep. Are we good? That works. So that works. All ball, then, if I can run to the restroom. I don't care. You are the, f I don't care you're, you're you are first. the first player, first. so we're resolving yours first. Okay. So. Yes. Starting from this one is one. We're counting every. We're counting everything. Over that one only step being. Step. Uh, so we're counting all the points. Let's count all the points and then move. Okay, it. So, so one. one only worth one because only right. the two, iron three, is flipped five, over. Five. Five. five points. Five points. Five points. Five points. Yeah, five points okay, yeah. so wait. Well, this was one point. One. One. Yeah. So and one. Then you've got four and then four here. here so five. five points. Okay. Total. We're just going to so give you a total at the end. Yes, yes, the total sure, end. Sure, yes. sure, sure. Do you want to go so me now? Pur yes, let's go purple. So one, two, three, four. This one. Purple scoring five, for six, all of those six, tiles six, being flipped seven, over. Eight, Does not score seven, for the pottery or the seven, beer because those are not flipped 11. over. Yeah. 11, yes. 11. Thank you. So purple goes from 0 to 11? Yes. Mm -hmm. Jeff soaring to the lead. And, uh, <laughs> four, one, four. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Luca hot on his trail. Nine, 10, 11. 11. Tied. Game, baby. They're tied in links, and they're also yeah, tied in buildings, I believe. One, two, three, yeah. Four, five. Maybe yeah, not. Luca's Luca's got an iron, and and. Uh, Nine, oh no, Jeff has an iron too. It depends on what those levels were, so and Jeff has his coal. Levi's position and the game. Levi ties for links for as well. For the building, so okay. you are here, so we can uh, count no, it. So it's nine. Yes. Plus five, 14. Okay. Nine, Great. yes, so. Any other? 14, there's one up top, too, oh, that Levi's pointing out. So 14 plus 7, 21. 21. 21 additional 21 for Gray. Plus 5, 26. So and he's got 21. One, uh, one, renewable and this is just devastating. Yes. This is Green devastating for Dave. Five. Yes. That is going to be then really hard to overcome so it's because five, it's a level ten, one building and has to be removed from the board. So and because he was unable to sell it, it was basically $17 wasted and yeah, an action. Right. That is a huge 10, 15, 12, detriment. You should be ahead by three by my count. Okay. And then yellow. it's yellow. 19, 23. Right? 23, Levi wishing that was a 32. So I'm going to take these and shove them. And there are no... Right? It seems like yeah, Dave should have taken no the deal one. to try to get more points. It's really, really close. Nope. But really the close. The pottery was the only one we all did. They're all just one, now we one, one and one. Uh, you take all the cards. Yeah, I think within two points of each other. Your cards. And flip the or within, right? yeah, within one and one. Because it's really, it's really they're within two points of each other because yeah. those things are all going to score again. But two points is very, very, very close. Jeff being at thirty-three, Levi being at thirty-four, Luca being at thirty-six, and then Dave being at twenty-six. Yeah, Jeff's in a pretty good cash position here. Dave's, Dave's going to feel horrible when he sees. With. That his pottery is no longer on the board. Yeah, the level one pottery goes out. And there it is. <laughs> and now it's set up for the next age. I feel we'll cut ahead to once all the cards are have been divvied out and Dave is taking the first play. All right, guys, 64. All right, so it's looking like we're getting back from break here and it's going to be an interesting game down the stretch here with 16 actions left for each of the players uh we definitely have three players who are in real good contention and let's see how it plays out from here yeah it, it i feel like at this point it is going to be hard for dave to to make a comeback but he does have that beer on the board that he can flip early he's got coal on the board as well that he can use to start his network, which is pretty 
which is pretty huge. Coal no becomes bar. really important in this next age because now the networks not only cost you $5, but they cost you a coal as well. And so if you're not connected to a coal location, it's really hard to expand. Yeah, he might also have the opportunity oh, to sorry, grab some pretty Randy's, good rail Randy's fishing early. Yeah. Like that may pay off for him. So we'll see if he can uh, jump back in. Rowdy Randy's. That's a good name for a bar. Because, yeah, the, that central board position that Luca is holding almost means nothing if you can't get the coal to build off of. But if Dave doesn't build with his coal first, Luca might take that opportunity to capitalize. But Dave does need to get something flippable pretty quick because he's, his income is uh, in a detrimental stage for him. That's true because he took those two loans. So he probably, while he has good position, he still has to fight to get to where he can capitalize on that position. He's got a lot to uh, that he could work with, and especially at the beginning, he could make two, he could make a play having the beer on the board and two coal. You can build one network, as Luke is pointing out right now. Yeah. And that's exactly what he's gonna do with all of that money he He's can capitalize, do a rail. yeah, and can use that, be more efficient with his actions, which, as we've been saying, is the name of the game. Brass Birmingham is the yeah, subtitle. Is it is action efficiency, colon, brass, colon, Birmingham. Put those to here, and then you show us where you are building. Those are need to be, both of them, when you put them, have, have to, to connect be connected to, to a coal source. So if it's this one, here, 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 you will use one here. Or he theoretically he could go here and somewhere further somewhere out, right? Further or out, here yes. and further yes, out, but something to, like that. If he wants to use his, he has to start uh, from those three. So I think that's where he wants to start from, though. Anyway. Yeah, a great explanation. He, he wants that uh, uh, Birmingham rail line is good points. Absolutely, Birmingham's going to get filled up. Yeah. He's got he's got that six pointer and that seven pointer here that he can throw down, which I think is and this some good value. Is that the actually. official terminology? Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. A wash. It's. Uh, he's got to be careful though that he doesn't set his competitors up for a quick delivery of some sort or a quick using of the coal. If he ends up connecting to a market. You know, then his competitors like, could extend the their networks you know, very quickly. Yeah, so that's that's what he's going to do. So he's, he's going to go six six on the points, um, but he's going to establish that route down to that uh, other market down there, so that that uh, manufactured good market that people can connect to. I, I think that's a da another dangerous play by Dave because uh, now we'll build anyone can build here. into Birmingham because yeah. they have yeah, access to coal <laughs> if they Hell needed yeah. to. But if he had delayed it and moved uh, to Coventry and maybe built there's a coal no, there. there's no beer right there. now because there's no beer right now. But you could build beer. Well, there still would be, be, there still right would be coal. But it, it, if, the, uh, if Dave were to build some coal right now, and funnel it into the market. He he could get a lot of uh, he could get a huge income bump because all that coal would go in. Probably annoying you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. If we play poker, we do the chip shuffle. It's like the same thing. The question is, where can you build it at? I hate the magic players that flick their like they shuffle their cards. You know what? Yeah. I do it though. Now I've like picked it up where I accidentally do it sometimes. Doesn't, he doesn't have a direct connection or any call play, so he's going to have to take a. Well, but now he can build. He can build into Birmingham with a crate. Yes, that's probably his best play. That seems like what he would be setting up for. 
and he needs to he needs to get he needs to lock that down and build those routes around it doing those quick sells Dave may be taking it back. He said, so, maybe I don't want to do that. It costs too much money, which seems surprising to me because he's got such a, probably the largest stack around the table. Uh, there has, uh, this is not connected not to my sell, network, right? Because I need the rail there. Yes. This, this doesn't connect to that. No. So I can't build the coal unless there's a rail. Yes. Okay. Well, unless you have the coal brook rail. Unless I have coal brook rail cards. Yes. I want it to sell, so I don't want to build it. Yes, so go back to the box. Back to the box. Final back answer. Set the tell you. Okay. So you pay eleven yesterday. You can get change. I think Dave still has a chance here, and, and he's doing the right things. But it is going to be hard to come back from everyone's already established points on the board. Yes. Be because as we know, whatever points were scored in the first yes. round, yeah, since but, there, there so was only one level one building that was taken off, and it was Dave's, we can assume that those points are going to be doubled, so Dave has to make up not only a 10-point gap, but actually a 20-point gap in order to be in contention. Well, I think he, he actually may be a little bit closer than it looks because he didn't score very much off of the canals. I think he only scored like one point off of it. Oh, that's true, yeah. Four or five points. So he did. He does have some scoring. Right, that's, that's exactly board. right. He scored five and everyone else scored 11. So yeah, really so. the gap is not 10 from between him and Luca, it's more four. So, so yeah. everyone's everyone's points on the on the buildings are fairly competitive. You're you're absolutely right on that, Brian. Yes, but he does have um, some work to do. I will. We'll see how I come out. But I, I do. I like those two train plays. I think those two train plays are going to pay off for him. Yeah, I, I like it in combination with building in Birmingham. Hmm. Uh, I would have been worried if he didn't and just connected to the market and potentially allowed other people like Luca to connect to the market very easily with it with an with one rail because I find in the second age you can get cut off from coal fairly easily like Jeff Jeff is yeah. is really in a tough spot because he is currently cut off from coal and so many buildings okay. require um, coal in order to be accurate. built that Cole's, Cole's pricey. Cole's Jeff pricey. is gonna is 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 in a bit of trouble. Okay. For seven. Okay. There you go. And that's that's the way that's the way he can get out. Hold on, hold on. Is it fine if I rethink this? Because that's not connected. So Jeff realizing so that's not that he can't uh, he can't fill up the coal market here, right now. He almost built that, but because he does not have that rail connected to Colebrookdale, to Shrewsbury from Colebrookdale, it would just sit on the stack, and he doesn't want that. But it's, it, he's in a tough spot because he's not directly beside. The only market that he's directly beside is up in Nottingham, and that's... Only for only benefits pottery, so it wouldn't make sense to build that to build that rail there. Everything you do is not locked, so you. Yeah, I don't remember. I want just every other game that your your turn's locked once you pass this. That's the purpose of this. Yes, some of the game where you save the action and you are. So I don't remember these ones. Azul, you touch the top. Yeah, so they're, they're talking about locking in actions, which is, in poker, they call that stringing a bat. <laughs> Push, no, pushing no, it over the line. We, we, we let some other yeah. things, you yeah. know, get, I mean, so this would be yeah. the first And part, time of, part of the reason that that's a rule at WSBG yeah, is because for the same reason that stringing a bet is a rule, you don't want to go out and represent that you're taking an action, read the state of every other player on face yeah and then say oh i see now this isn't a good action 
I yeah. have to change my mind and take a different action. So the, the, it has to be, there's there's a line that you cross to uh, lock into it, and then if the other players are going to hold you to that lock and line, then and that is what it is. That, that is the, the rules that we have to play by. So that there is a, a clear definition of what's going on when we want to hold other players to that clear definition. Yeah, just to see if, if somebody pumps their fist because you did a wrong action and then you say, oh, well, maybe I won't do that. I'm going to scout. It's a little too late. For my first act? Maybe. Ooh, so or maybe they reacted. So we'll we just first. talked about this, this, this uh, double to action to get. It, Here we go, I'm yeah. The scout action. The two pottery okay. and then take one of each. Yes. So I think there's a rough bad, action, so but yeah, he that's, needs that's to specifically not the hand do. I wanted to see. No. Um, so those, yeah, yeah. He needs. That's a zero cost action. Yeah, it's tough, but and like then, you heard Jeff just saying, he said his hand was bad, and he discarded two pottery. He's not going for pottery. There are only three pottery cards in the game, though. So discarding two of them means if you're holding a pottery card, you know that you have the only pottery card. So if you're able to count the the locations and you know the locations run out, sometimes you can you can plan ahead that way. But it doesn't seem like anyone's going for the pottery strategy. Certainly, Dave won't be after it burned him so much in that first era. So, so he, he got himself one wild location and one wild industry card, but it cost him a total of three cards. So he traded three cards for two and one of his actions. So now he's got one more action for this round, but he's he now has flexibility to do exactly what he wants to do. That's true. So this play, he, he expected to be specifically. Yeah, it's okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right, and then my second action is I'm going to um, go ahead and take the develop action. So two here. Oh, wow. That's, that's silly. Uh, we'll develop that's these two interesting. Boxes, I, don't, I didn't so see that four. coming, but wow. He's really trying to get rid of those three and four, which only will give him uh, seven points total, and move on to number five, which is worth eight points if he's able to flip it. Right. He could have done that with any card, but clearly what he wants to do is be in exactly the position he wants to be in All the to the, to the, the, the next deck, play, and he wants to go only. early oh, no, there's more next potter, play. There's a lot of more yes. So he's kept, he's kept his, his money count down low. But he, he did give up an action, so. We'll and see. he just said all the Worcestershire uh, are out of the game. Oh, sorry. As I well, because he played both of those Worcestershires, which makes sense because nobody, he's not going for a cotton strategy. And Worcestershire's at the very bottom left of the board, having two cotton there. So it doesn't make sense for him to hold on to those cards. He must not have liked his hand at all. He, he just pitched four, four. Four cards. That's tough, yeah. That's a tough draw when you're in Jeff's position, especially when he needs very specific cards because he is not next to a market that he cares about. And he has Colebrookdale, and he could get in there to try to build that route, but he's going to hope that Luca builds the network for him. And Luca doesn't. Luca's Luca's building a network up in the other way to probably keep Jeff scrambling and not having access to coal and not being able to send that coal back, especially because he knows Jeff taking it back into his hand is sort of a detriment to himself because now everybody knows that he does have Colebrookdale. Although with only one spot remaining in Colebrookdale, that feels like it would be a, a, an easy turn to to play a network down and then to play the coal and load it all out if you are Luca or Dave. Again, in that left side of the board. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 
Yes. So this is the advantage of uh, being where you want to be already coming out of that era is that he can he can now play a little bit more aggressively and not have to worry about where he is going into the second turn. And he's making that network go across. Luca is in order to get his uh, number three down and also secure the network link points that uh, Uxeter and Darby are going to be worth. They're going to be worth a lot of points. That one he just played down, those two links that he just played down are basically going to be worth one, two, three, four, five, six, six points and seven points respectively. So that play just got Luca basically 13 points. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. It almost doesn't benefit uh, necessarily going first in this second era because you can wait and see if other people allow you to access coal and then make your decisions from there. Well, the, the, those prime real estate training spots are going to evaporate pretty quickly that's true and they are going to be worth a lot of points and that the amount of points that they're worth should not be undervalued we can hear in the background uh carcassonne and acquire all finishing up it is just brass left as they compete for the last spot in the finals so now he, he's making a play, not, not too much for points joke, here, but he's got to get that network connected. Can I say connected. that on camera? I'm sorry. To edit that out. This stuff is lit. <laughs> We won't be editing it out, Jeff. <laughs> that was Jeff talking to me uh, as I tore down all of the live stream elements for Ticket to Ride and said, hey, get in on this game. It is exciting. And he is not wrong. You just hate that. Levi making a solid coal link play that immediately fills up the market and flips over his coal. Giving him a huge income bump of seven. <laughs> it's a tough decision to make because he fills up the market to make it a little less uh, for other players. He, he does push his income up, though, to uh, have not He does push his income up. But in a game where income seems secondary, it, I don't know if it'll if it will uh, right. hurt him or help him. It at least gives him the option to take more loans, which I think is what most people are using their income track for. Yeah, it was ten for this. Yeah, seventeen. Sorry about that. Please go into my discard, my new discard. I got you. Alright. Everybody needs to start pacing points a lot at this point out. It's 11.30. That's just Shane, our tournament director, saying that the finals will begin at 1, so make sure to keep your turns as uh, efficient as you can because we want to make sure the game the game is done. But with the first game of Brass only taking three hours, and these they seem to be on a really good pace for the level of decision-making required for this sort of game. Seven for myself. Yes. Uh, I get four. Yes, and you'll get four. So I'm going to take the five. Yep. And return one. <laughs> yep. Levi feeling the benefits of that income bump with some four coins. Certainly better than having to pay five. <laughs> So that's going to be 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, 
Okay. 15, that's going to be 27. Yeah, I was going to tell you to, to go for two now, but I didn't want to do like over there. Oh, no. No matter where you feel, continue to make good plays. All right, so the first action that I'm going to take That's Levi telling that Dave that he wanted to tell him to put that canal down in order for his beer to get used, wild card from but the uh, scout action and spin. he didn't and because um, Dave said he wasn't well, listening to him. And that so has that I can play really bit Dave in the butt because he was unable to sell his pottery since it was not connected. It almost makes you I'm makes you want to think, going back, would it have been beneficial for Dave to make that deal, especially planning on pottery, knowing that they could collectively build those connections that. and each sell something. And then with my second action, I'm going to discard Derby, which is a dead card. So you can see how, see, how, how critical that. here that uh, making gonna, a play for two beers to take at exactly the rail rail place he wanted it. One beer and two coal okay. to build two rails. So 15 plus 8. Plus eight, he, correct. He wanted yep. those wild there cards, so he could definitely get I those two bears in, out. I had it, so that's a legal play. So Jeff again going more. for that two so route eight, building, two back to hand. using his beer that he just played. Um, hurting for money right now, but he does have the most income. Rails in hopefully a legal position. I'm just kidding, they will be illegal. The, the beer is going to come from. Because I'm going to go here, which will be five points, and then... If he's going for points, the best one would be in between Uxeter, as he's counting that up right now. Or does he invest in connecting things down the line? Later. I'm just going to take the for sure points, I think. Hold on, let me just... I know now I'm feeling like I need to play faster, but I'm not the same guy, let's be honest. I'm playing pretty fast. Any day now, man. I know. <laughs> he probably wants that inside line as more points. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> that inside <laughs> top line. M mirroring what Luca did on the on his last play. That's what, yeah, that's what I think would be the optimal play. He may not recognize that that's the play. Well, it depends in terms of if he, wa if he wants to. I think the decision is either extend your network, which is what he's doing, heading towards Birmingham, and being able to get in on that Birmingham action that is going to be worth so many points at the end versus the the points in, points in the hand now. It's a bird in the hand versus a Birmingham in the bush. Yeah. This, this again is that, and I will draw back to disadvantage my of having to re earn, re earn network yeah, space. Clear this and then just uh, the absolutely. Yeah, the wild uh, go back. Goes back. Wild. Oh, the wild goes back. That's right. That's right. Because now I've and he did use his wild to do so. Oh, because wait, shouldn't this be an even number? Of Needing to figure oh, out a way to. Oh, I use the wild. Okay. But you can't pick the wild because I get it. I can pick the wild. So now this is so this is connected to the market. Oh, because I have a wild. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to play. Levi seeing another opportunity to shots. get some more coal on the board and to just. Okay. Uh, so coal. I guess. Funnel that coal immediately in and really okay. keep his income engine going. And it's worth points too. It's. Yeah. Plus he's trying I believe to get to the, a level three coal or level two. Trying to get a little closer to the better networking spots as well. Although that's still a good ways off there because the prime railroad. So we'll see. See how he does. Okay, so I'm going to take. So I'm going to take eleven. Maybe you're using a different map than me as well. I use the common core map. Okay. Yeah, really, really solid by Levi getting those his income up. I'm going to... But he's not necessarily propelling himself oh, towards moving his, his point marker up very fast. Yeah, that was a level two coal, so, so it's only worth two points. If you build a so I rail, build a rail I want to build a rail here. Here, yes, it will be connected to the market. 
And it will be connected. Uh, He's really wrapping around trying to connect. Uh, no. 7 plus 15. Yeah. His other stuff up. It's uh, it's, it's, seems like a really roundabout way. It seems like Levi's searching for points right now. But I'm not sure if that engine is, is going to be the most optimal. But he's, he is, I think, trying to connect his cotton over why he wouldn't take the upper route. I suppose he's, he's fishing for more points. He knows more points are, are in the routes that he's building on right now. And so he's choosing to build a few more trains in order to get those points rather than... Well, it's two trains either way, so that way he gets more points. And now he's only one rail away from connecting oh, that other yes, three man. cotton that he put down. Dead card. It's a hot term. <coughs> so, we like that term, yep. We like that term. All right, so. That's, that is, that Levi will also be looking for a spot where he can put another one of his cottons, hoping to draw leak up yes. at the top you before someone else yes. does. Place but him many, not, many but everyone else not really investing in cotton, and in fact not even developing okay. their level one cottons off the so board. Maybe Levi's maybe cotton one actually one feels like a very safe play that no one will be scooping up a just a specific cotton spot. Yeah, unless somebody is going to, I think if they could, they, someone could drop a coal down there just to block him. I'm not sure that they would, but someone could. He also will need to connect it if he's going for leak. Uh, because he chose to go the roundabout way. Okay. So 35, 29. Uh, right? Yep. Okay. Luca again paying attention to that all important turn position. Seeing how much he can spend. He doesn't have a very large stack anyway. Right now it looks like it's to the tune of $8. But he may be looking lone here as his first action. It feels like he has to. He has to figure out some way to get more income. Unless he, either unless taking... he can drop that coal mine. If he can drop a coal mine down here, I think he could be good as well, too. I don't know if he can afford it. That's true, because you you get back the money for whatever you put into the into the market as well. Yeah. And that's pretty huge as the market dwindles. Anyone dropping an iron market, too, would get back $9 if they were able to fill it up, if you're dropping down a three or a four iron. Oh, he wants another another rail. Using all of his money to build one single rail, and then we'll see his second he wants action. To establish control of the primary points. Yeah. One, he, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A seven point rail there. Yeah. Yes. So. Jeff mentioning, he said, I should have built that. Luca yeah. confirming, yes, you should have. But we'll see. Jeff now is able to expand down into potentially Birmingham. Luca doesn't need to, that expansion because he is so close in Walsall. He can get in there later on as well. Luca's board position feeling very good in terms of railways and forcing everyone else to build the railways to compete with him. I'm gonna run to the restroom because I'm gonna be last in the next round. So I'm gonna take this time to use the facilities. I'll walk with you. All right. <laughs> well, no, I'm serious. All right, let's start to wait if you're done. Or good. Yes, it's on, yes. Uh, I need to pass the card to you. Now it's your turn. Sir. 
Dave's still having a lot of money in his stack. Now he's out of his debt problems. He can make some pretty significant moves, although the cost for coal and building rails is getting increasingly more expensive if no one fills it up. no beer outside so you cannot do a single action double rail so you don't have to overthink that Luca pointing out that there's no beer left on the board the reason Levi was able to do that double rail action is because he used Jeff's beer which is why Jeff is now still ahead on the income track as well Starting to get to that point where it does make a difference. Eleven, eleven dollars. I don't want to overstep, but okay. Feels eleven dollars around compared to Lucas zero dollars around. Me, feels then, you know, pretty good. I know it's two actions. So, but if you really want to to sell a call, you have a way to do it. Dave looking for spots where he can build coal. <coughs> or where he can build coal that will go immediately back into the market. Because there are other coal spots on the board. Coal's a fairly yeah. plentiful spot on the board. Just not coal, coal spots, right? Because if you can play it and immediately flip it over, you're getting money back, you're getting an income bump, that's what Levi's been doing, trying to capitalize on those close coal spots. Yeah, I'm not sure he should be doing that because he, he's in a better cash position actually than everybody else. And when, if he does do that, he, he makes the coal much, much more accessible for the rest of the players. So he might end up doing this, but I'm not sure it's the right play. Yeah, I agree. Dave, I feel like Dave should be investing in, again, creating those links around Birmingham, uh, establishing his network, cutting off Luca and Jeff from getting in on Birmingham and then just building everything that he can in there. But he, but he may not have the cards. He may not have the manufactured goods cards in order to build in Birmingham. And he cannot build cotton right now because he hasn't developed his level one cotton off the board. No one has the level one cotton, again, off their player board except for Levi. Dave's selling. They're selling. That feels like the play of someone who is who is tired. <laughs> yeah. Who who doesn't like the cards no, in their hand and is hoping to get a, a little cycle. Oh, what was like two actions? Action. No, first is sold. Oh. And he at least gets to use the beer, and he at least gets a two-point income bump for doing that as well. Three, because his manufactured good should have been a level two, and that gives you an additional one bump. Ten plus three, thirteen. He just isn't getting a lot of efficiency off of that with only being able to flip one. one Absolutely. Build. I think that's the that's a tough well, play by Dave. That, that's well, a play where you... And, you don't Getting. have many options in your hand because, but he should have the options because he has so much money. He's not being able to capitalize on his money advantage over the other players, and that's going to really hurt his chances of a comeback. Yeah. One of the, th one of the things about playing brass is you can easily get caught up in the the things that you felt like you did wrong in the previous area and let them lead into your play into the next area when you just need to forget about them and move on. Absolutely. So we know that 
And I think I think we're seeing a bit of that here. But Dave does manage to to lock down a, a specific spot on the board, taking that Stoke on Trent area, and he knows that'll be connected to manufactured goods at some point, because he knows Luca's going to want to sell his his level three over in Derby on the right side of the board, and uh, both of those are now connected together with everyone else's network of rails. So that's not a bad placement, but if I were Dave, I would have wanted to play that in Birmingham instead and just carve out your own little corner that people need to be a part of. Well, what's interesting is I I didn't realize this and looking down at, at, at my board, the level three manufactured goods, which Luca still has to sell, actually don't provide any network points because they don't require any beer to sell. And so those points that uh, that Luca put down are actually two points left. When we were talking about a 13 point move, I think that was actually an 11 point move. Also, for... Mm. Luca manages to get an iron out on the board and fills up the iron market in a, a, a big play. This is a level three iron. That is a huge, huge. He basically gets to pay nothing for it because he gets so much money back. Recapitalizes his position. And that's worth seven points at the end of the game. That is a very... That's where his veteran experience is coming into play. Seeing the opportunities in that market board and capitalizing on it with tiles that get you more points than coal, because iron are worth a lot more points than coal. Coal is more of an economy-generating tile, and iron is all about the points, especially as you move forward along the levels. Back over to Dave. Let's see if he can capitalize on those other two moves that he made. Yes. Seven. Cost seven. And then it's eventually going to go over here. Yes. Not going to go in there. Yes. Right. No. No. <laughs> so you can put it on Tamworth. Right. No. Let it. You resolve the action, so put it there. Demo. It doesn't really matter to the board because it's three. So nine thirty. You get Dave loading up that coal seven market. Seven. He's at twenty. We're gonna go to twenty-seven. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah getting competitive with his own income generation but we see luca still down at only one income he does not care about the income track whatsoever he is focused on points and that feels like it could make the difference although it still does feel like jeff levi and luca are all fairly competitive at the moment dave trailing slightly behind I would give the edge to Luca just based around the board position and how he has locked down some of those key network links already, mm -hmm. especially that network link into Birmingham and playing down that iron. That was a huge play that... Yeah, I mean, it, obviously Levi's move to... Pin, I mean, yeah, Dave could it, have yes, stopped have or tried to stop, general, but he's going to now ideas. capitalize on all the work that Dave's been doing down in Birmingham. And he was in that position, that central position, to do so because of his setup in that earlier first age. Okay. Cost uh, nine. Oh, he's going for yet another call. Dave going for another call. He wants to ramp up that income and really keep the call and the iron strategy going. If he can ramp up that in income and start getting connections and can really start capitalizing on those network points, I think that's the way he, he's leaning towards going. 
he's a level no he's a level three so it's eight plus one yes okay you pay the cost yes so now you can put it where you want we see a few purple cards in Levi's hand as he just fanned through them. Yeah, That's the that not what Levi wants to see, but maybe he can get in on Birmingham four, into that four, cotton six, area. Six, eight, ten, ten more if he happens six, to have a Birmingham in his hand. Uh, it's a six, a 27 plus six. Right, so yeah, well, this, is $16. We're do it. this is where cotton gets expensive, that big cotton strategy that Levi's been pushing towards. <laughs> Especially when it's hard to access coal, he kind of gets put at a standstill. I feel like I'm becoming a much better brass player from just watching this game. <laughs> Indeed, I, 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 I am as well. I think seeing just a lot of. <laughs> Josh Schwartz almost flipping the table in anger that I've been learning so much. <laughs> Thank God we weren't playing Camel Up. Right, no. <laughs> For multiple reasons. <laughs> <laughs> or even Terraforming Mars without the uh, the overlays. A table bump on that in that game can be. Uh, Pretty tough on the game state. But yeah, I see the... It's so fascinating to me to see the wheels turning and to see how well Jeff and Levi are both adapting to a game that wasn't one of their strong suits coming into this competition, but they're remaining incredibly competitive against someone who was able to to make their way to the, to the ring final. New. He's going to give him a little latitude on this play, but he's going to, as far as time, but he's going to expect him to play faster throughout the rest of the game. If you're taking Just like because of the time limitations. One, yeah, sorry, one, Brian. Making that one crucial play that unlocks the rest of your strategy, you just want to think that one through, and then you can commit down the rest of the plays pretty quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Levi connects into it. His his other cotton is ready to be sold. He'll want to see if he can get another cotton somewhere. If he if only he had Birmingham. If he had Birmingham, all he would need to do is drop one rail and then be able to sell both of those cotton in one fell swoop, which would be a huge play. And again, this is this is potentially why Jeff took that scout action at the beginning of the game, because he didn't have the position in his cards and he didn't have the position on the board. And sometimes you need to sacrifice that action. It's tough to do. You want to hope that you can get lucky. Birmingham, especially with three cards that in the game that can be played on it. Those other purple cards, it seems, are not Birmingham. I can see Levi looking towards uh, Nuneaton and Coventry, where all the nuns love to be. But unfortunately, he cannot build his cotton plants there until it is connected by railway because it is not connected to any coal. And so instead, he makes the play to connect up to Leak. Obviously, having leak, leak in his hand, hoping that nobody takes that opportunity to play some coal in leak. You would have to have the card leak in order to play it, whereas Levi can now play just a cotton card from his hand and be able to build that there. So hoping that no one has that coal or has that leak card and wants to use that opportunity to fill the market with coal again. So 
now back to Jeff. It's been a long time since Jeff has played. He played first in the last round and now finally gets to play again. He's got that one wild card still in his hand. That's true. Was it a wild location or was it a wild uh, industry that he okay. that he and still has? I think I think he he used his wild location, so he only has a wild okay. industry in his hand still. Oh. Dave placing both of those coals right below Jeff's network is okay. <clears throat> really tough. Action, that might be really beneficial. Long... That might be really beneficial for Levi. You can see Levi's perked up, the up the a bit. He's it. hoping that he can get his cotton down there now yeah. that he's able to connect. Good. Now Nunatan is connected to a market. So yeah, but I think Jeff's yeah, going to out, out, out Aston yeah. here. Oh, sorry. Ooh, That's true, out. because Jeff Jeff gets to go first. This is 14. This is 16. Agreed. Jeff getting that back-to-back -back play might be huge. Levi sweating. Yep. He sees his opening, but will it be there when he, when he, when he gets there? Seven, yeah. Five, six, seven. But the only other thing that can be played there is coal, and it doesn't feel like that would it would make sense for Jeff to play a coal in that spot. There's too much more for Jeff to accomplish. Great. Yep. Yeah. So if Levi, if Levi is looking at a potential double cotton play here, that could suddenly become really strong. Yeah. He's got a there's a good set of train networks, so he doesn't have to worry about that. And again, nobody else Sorry, has their card level card. one cotton off of their board, so <laughs> no one is going to going to capitalize on that free beer uh, up in the cotton location. Jeff must have a plan here, though. It's surprising to me that he would build in that direction if he didn't want to put something there maybe beer maybe he's hoping to drop his beer there but if he does it's connected to everyone's stuff okay i'm gonna he's probably hoping to build put some manufactured playing. goods there so that would be nine, <coughs> but why he wouldn't go down to birmingham i guess is say probably nine. because he has the newnanton card in his hand Seven. i'm gonna make change for this there's a 15 yep. two fives and one, two, three, four, five, fifteen. That goes there. This all comes here. Um, so the first action is going to be eleven. The second action is going to end up being twenty-two, I believe, because um, I cost seven for two coal. So I believe this works. He's looking at We're double tra train here. Beer. Here, because it's connected. Beer double train. So that's going to be my building the beer. beer here. Which puts two beer on it. Yeah. And then he can double train and really establish and those railways. That's, that's why he needed to get there. It's a nine yes. printed plus one iron. Yep. And then my second. Although he may not have enough. Be the double rail action. <laughs> oh, it is double rail. I'm yeah, of course it is. To build two rails for fifteen printed cost plus the seven cost for the two iron from the market. 22, which is here in live. Where do you think he's going to build these card. rails? Probably, he's discard. got to be going into Birmingham. I'm, I'm guessing he's coming back into the Birmingham. Yeah. Sure. Hard word. And now Unless he's trying to establish something over the other side of the board. That so Birmingham line is going to be against yes, seven points. So He's thinking about splitting them up, I think. That for five. One, two, three, four, five. That's uh, that's a strange play. I feel like he's got to. He should just double down on Birmingham in both cases, because you got to know that Levi wants the cotton, and the only the closest cotton spot are Birmingham or Newington. I can't go there, can I? I know. 
so this will be two and at least four, possibly more. I still like to see that almost three hours into this game, there's still some very fun, playful banter around the table. Everybody still seems to be having a good time while the competition is happening, and that is that's huge. What is your cotton? It's just one? Mm. That feels like a surprising play, unless he's he's got stuff that he wants to build there. Maybe he's trying to lay the groundwork for pottery. Yeah, I, don't that, I don't think that pottery is getting built there, so I'm not sure that that's as valuable. Well, and keep in mind, Jeff did discard two of the three pottery cards. If he happens to have the third pottery card in his hand, he may be trying to cut someone off. I have a Coventry in my hand. Thank you for that. If you can lie. I'm not lying. I have five Coventry. I also have five Coventry. Five Coventry in everybody's hands. Levi being very, very open. Yeah, I never play social deduction games, so I... I, I, I <laughs> Levi plays yeah, very similar to me in which I reveal too much information <laughs> just because I like talking you about it. I took him out. I took the... No, he did. So I think he okay. went a little more conservative here. We had the fall. We could have still went with that Coventry yeah, just, line, yes. but... The other donkey town just, just right. didn't get on board. Sorry. It's uh, 33. <laughs> It makes sense that he do, that he is playing uh, the the route between Nuneaton and Birmingham because he knows that his beer will be worth two points, and then whatever somebody places in Nuneaton, they'll be worth more points as well. So that's definitely more beneficial than coming down from Tamworth into Birmingham. For sure, I, I yeah. And then the other one feels like a, again another defensive play to try to make sure he's cutting off Luca's points because the only other person who can build that connection route is Luca for five points down the line so it feels like an investment into the future of stopping Luca who at this point still feels like the the person to beat or at least is ahead in the scores but again those first round scores were very tight <laughs> sorry so building a coal mine would cost 10 and it would replenish four so it would give me back Eight? Twelve. Twelve, yeah. No, so I mean, it's a four, so twelve. Yeah, it would give me twelve. So if I bolt a connected coal mine, or I overbuilt a coal mine, it would give me twelve. So I can I can net two, if I need yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, I, I immediately took one of mine off. So I need eighteen. But then I would reduce the coal cost as well. So it would be eighteen. I would get two back. So he may be looking into building that coal mine, and then maybe he doesn't trust so anybody else to make his end road into Coventry, one. so he'll yeah, make it himself. Um, two and two. Say, okay, two and so 18. Yeah. So if I build, so I can build a coal mine, and then, so I don't need to take out a line, I can build a coal mine for net two, and then I just, yeah, that would be perfect. So can I build a coal mine? That's the question. <laughs> That's the question. All the best laid plans are fine, but then it all always comes down to the cards in your hand. And while you do have eight, and that's a lot of them, sometimes they're just not what you need to do the perfect play. Oh, well, he doesn't have the okay. income to, to get that other cotton off. Um, that's true. He's trying to ramp up that income, trying to ramp up money production. Doesn't want to take a loan. I don't need to. There. So... Going to do instead. At this point, it feels like the players are are more scared of loans because of it that it taking an action away from them, Sorry. and also I'm taking an action when people place. are fighting for those network links. Sorry, I'm not trying to look. I'm just trying to gain some perspective on the world. Jeff zooming out, hoping that will unveil the mystery, the key to success in him pulling out the win and heading towards the finals. Four, ten. This is a this is a surprising play. He was holding on to that card, probably hoping he he could get the. Oh, that doesn't replenish the the 
the iron, so this doesn't actually work, so I'm not going to do this, I'm sorry. I do just have to take out a loan. I am one short because the iron gets consumed by the coal. That is correct. Oh, he's one Instead, short. He's trying to get that money. Instead. Was trying to eke out some points while he's he was doing it. taking the loan here, though, really. He, this is probably one of them blessing in disguise can't make the wrong play, so I have to make the right play. Okay. Yeah. It leaves that, that spot open for him to play later and to put his Perfect. cotton down, which feels like a good spot. But he also loses out on those three three points and that extra income bump. And then I will build. I put you thirty in your supply. Okay, thirty. <coughs> and then I will build okay. on Nuniton. And now he's going to build on Nuniton, and that's got to be his cotton. Yeah, level four cotton. Plus two, 20 Down to Nuniton. The loan coming out, making it happen. Four, yeah. Yeah, I think that ends up being a, the stronger play. That feels a lot more efficient, because as soon as that's flipped over, he gets 12 points. And he can now use his sell action a lot more efficiently. Now, the question for Levi will remain, if he can get a beer on the board and another another cotton to do a triple sell, or if he can get that cotton on the board, and then if someone leaves a beer out for him, do a triple sell and capitalize on that beer being there. That would put himself in a winning position for sure. It will cost you 25. Yes, if you're doing a double link, it's 25. <coughs> yes, because of the call. Dave, feeling the pressure of that coal market creeping upwards. You can see the speed at how quickly everything has been connected onto the board, but the point is that those those connections are going to be worth a lot of points. Yeah. Sometimes even worth more than just flipping over a regular building at this point. Yeah, especially when you get you get a double action to play down uh, two two scoring rail lines. Is uh, I think these things these plays are keeping Dave in the game. These are fairly good plays. I think so too. I just I fear that his rail presence needed to be a lot more than everybody else's, and right now it's just on par. So I think Dave, I think Dave is is being competitive in this round, but I'm I'm fearful that uh, it's not going to be enough to make up for the uh, the potential pottery misplay in that first round. Had he had he been able to sell that pottery, Dave would be tied with Luca right now, and probably more because his beer would have been flipped over sooner. And he's got a box down the ball. Check out. Yes. I'm going to turn these three into a 15. And we're going to put 49. Dave again being forced to play that in, in the spot where he has the card instead of putting it in, into Birmingham, which he currently would get more points than everybody else since he has three routes connected to Birmingham. I think it's imperative for Dave that Birmingham gets filled up. And maybe the other players won't be as scared of making that happen because uh, he he's currently in the in the least advantageous position. But if they don't get scared and he gets to triple up on their points, that might be a huge swing. That's a good to know. So let's. Luca, again, you hear him talking out loud, calculating the turn order. He makes a develop play. He develops his level four uh, manufactured goods, letting him have access to level five, which again is worth that eight points. And then he also gets that first coal off the board. In, in order to allow him to build another coal and blocks off Levi up there up top and immediately gets a lot of money back. That is a huge play by... 
Luca, and it also allows him to get money back uh, and potentially stay in in good turn order. All right. So now, 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 Levi's got to look into making that cotton mill in Birmingham if he has the card to do that. Which I'm with, with all, but looking at his hand with all them yellow cards, I'm not sure he does. Red, yellow, purple, white. Lucky for Levi, a lot of, a lot has been extended. So if he needs to play something in Kidderminster, for example, because we know Worcester uh, is not in the game anymore because Jeff discarded both of them at the beginning of the round. Nice, Chris. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't I expect that. Yes, for sure. I didn't expect. So income, I get five. Luca again now in in first turn order, and there are no more cards left in the deck, which means there are four turns left in the game. And that's me again. Things are ramping up. That one play with Luca getting getting that money that he desperately needed by refilling the coal market and denying Levi a potential spot to build his last cotton feels like a pretty huge play. But Jeff's links are starting to get more and more valuable as with Levi's cotton play and if uh, if Birmingham happens and he's a, and someone's able to build to Coventry to capitalize on Birmingham. Yes, I can. I can overbuild, but oh, you can overbuild. Yes, no, it's not. Nope, sorry. Just putting this back in the yes. Forgot about overbuilding. Yeah. Luca deciding not to overbuild because it it does just doesn't make sense at this point. You'd be getting four four points for overbuilding on an iron and getting some money back, but it feels like you could get those four points by just building and making connection routes for cheaper. He's running out of places to build that though. And and he is really threading the needle with his income. I feel Luca Luca's income has been Oh, and the pottery goes down. He's building a pottery. His level one pottery, which is worth 10 points, building it up top where he can sell it when he takes his sell action. And he is selling right away. Doesn't need a beer. Can sell his pottery right away, capitalizing on that free beer and getting those 10 points. And in addition, he gets an, an additional three point bonus for selling at that particular market over in Nottingham in the top right by using that beer. Uh, that's the bonus for using that that market beer. Just how Levi got five points, five coins for each beer he used in the cottons in the first area. Le that's why you saw Luca moving his point tracker up three spaces with that play. That's a pretty big play in terms of getting access to that level one pottery, which at this point, it still costs a lot of money to make, but it's worth 10 points and being able to get those 10 points out there is huge, especially in a game where the two pottery cards have already been discarded. Sorry. Yes, I can. No, I, 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 I did, I got to do two more. No, I just remind from my stream, so. <laughs> No, it's late. It's been a while. This really has been a marathon event for these players. Like Jeff was saying, he was up at 4 a.m. learning and practicing the game. I know Luca was doing a similar thing. Um, or I know Levi was doing a similar thing. I'm not sure if Luca got himself a good night's sleep or not. Is, scout is he scouting? or is he No. Yeah, he's scouting. He seems like he's scouting. He needs that card. Wow, Levi needs to get into a place where he can build his cotton, and he's choosing to use one of his very valuable last eight actions to make that possible. But it's also not a bad play if he's ho hoping for turn order. I'm tapped out. He may be. 
And you don't have another wild, right? Because there are three and two, so someone has a wild in industry. Yeah. I, I have a wild in industry. Okay. Yeah, Jeff still has his wild in industry because he has not played it and it has not been returned to the stack. Slightly different, right? Yes. <laughs> it's lighter color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. The lighter color feels more like a, uh, a printing error. Right, sure. You know, so it's really difficult. <laughs> the bright shirt. I get it. He had a brighter shirt on. The day he was playing wingspan. <laughs> well, we're down to the end of the glass. So we get yeah, we should do it pretty good. Though. Two, three, four, five, six. Less decisions. This is the sort of game where the the actions really sneak up on you. It feels like there are so many things that you want to do and you're planning for, and then suddenly there are no more cards to draw, and you only have four, four turns left, and you really have to maximize those four turns to the best of your ability. Is, is he contemplating the cotton mill play to here? Does he have the money for the cotton mill? He's selling. Ooh, he doesn't. Have... That feels so surprising to not to take all that time to get that extra spot, only to use an action to sell right away. That feels so. Uh, that feels like a tough play. He'll be only getting an income bump of five, but he but he is getting ten coins from doing this sell. So that might be what he's planning on. He needs those coins. One, two, three, four, five, and ten dollars. So he bumps his income up and he gets ten dollars back by That's doing that. Nice. That's probably why he had to do that in order to get that income. He is setting himself up for an early play in the next round as well, too. So I hope that makes a difference. That's true. He did not spend any money, so he will be first player, guaranteed, because even if Jeff and Dave don't spend money, the turn order will stay the same. Oh, boy. So, seven, 12. so that sell by Levi gets him 18 coins instead of the five coins that he was going to be getting, which feels pretty significant, especially when he needs exactly 18 coins plus a coal and a... Uh, iron to build that last cotton plant, which for sure is his goal. He needs to get it in order to get that 12 points. Yes. The question is, did he do enough of his actions, though? That's true. Levi also is, well, he has five links, five network links on the board, so he's staying competitive in that area as well. For this rail here, it would be one, two? No, one. Oh, just one? Yes. It's just Okay, so on my first action, I'm going to take the uh, build action in Dudley. Build an okay. iron. And, and, uh, actually, hold on a sec. Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeff looking to play in Dudley. That's where currently only Dave has position, right to the left of Birmingham. Yeah, he fine. can move right, that so iron that. back out so real build. quickly. I think that's a good play. Or build in Dudley. Sorry, okay. build. Sorry for twelve. Because building seven, his iron, uh, yeah, and getting that cold. that iron immediately right. flipped. Um, it's a five point four, tile. So I'm gonna get twelve back, right? Yes. So net zero, but twelve goes on the spent dollars. It so. costs him twelve. He gets twelve back, but he has to put the twelve to that he spent on his uh, character tile in order for turn order to be determined. It's really interesting to see the income push and the economy track push from everyone else. They're, they're feeling the, the pain of the money. They're feeling the pain of everything costing more in the second age. Okay, and then I'll Develop for five. Ooh. Well, which way is he going to develop here? Let's see. He might be making a play to develop into his seventh 
manufactured good to try to not need a beer. I think I'm going to discard Kittleminster to develop two, so that's two iron here. Sorry. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and develop these two boxes. Yes. That's exactly what he's going to do. Legal play. Oh, except he had two boxes nice on level five. So he's up into into level six, but still building towards that cotton. Oh, yeah. Actually, level six of the manufactured goods uh, is probably the cheapest at this point with coal being so high. It doesn't require coal to be built, which is also potentially huge if coal still stays. So it only costs him $20. Unless you build a beer and then you build a beer. It's a tough place to be in when you need beer to sell. Because you can hope that somebody puts a beer down, but at this level, people aren't going to be putting beer down for you to get a huge point swing unless that's the only way for them to get points. And they need to hope that those six points that they get from the, or six or seven that they get from the beer versus yeah. your 12 for flipping over cotton uh, are enough to push them ahead of the other two players around the table. And that's what I'm always interested in these sorts of four player games is. I'll work with anybody. I would be fine giving people lots of point bumps because if I'm getting point bumps every time and they're only getting point bumps interacting with me, then I'm hopeful that that sort of thing would work out and I'd end up on uh, end out on top. Dave connecting. Manufactured good connection. And the interesting part about Gloucester, which is the market at the bottom of the board, which we haven't touched, that's where all three goods could be sold. It's a great place to link up to because you can sell anything, and it's wild that it hasn't been connected to as of now, as people have specialized and not wanted to connect to it because it makes selling easier. Dave doing that initial connection and sell immediately so he can capitalize on that beer that exists on the market, which gets him a free development as well. Dave trying to get in that manufactured goods game. All three of them now per pursuing those manufactured goods, and it is only Levi who stays with his cotton and I would assume somebody wants to capitalize on their level one pottery, so, either Jeff yeah, or Levi. Yeah, yeah. First for sure. right but it depends how many actions you can afford to spend on it, because the actions are dwindling down. We only have six actions per player left, three rounds to go, and then we will see who is moving on into the final match of the World Series of Board Gaming 2022 to compete for that $25,000 prize. And a shiny bracelet to add to your jewelry collection. <laughs> That's true. A shiny, gorgeous World Series bracelet to add to your ring collection. And a uh, lifetime pass yes. into the World Series where you can consistently defend your title every year and Indeed, hopefully win is... every year. <laughs> That is an amazing thing. It's, it's 12 20. It's been over 30 minutes, but we need to. I have to say, they're making great pace in this sort of game. Every game of brass that I have played in, the, in a uh, sort of non competitive setting, especially when I was first learning, was four hours or more. Yeah. There is just so much to process on the board and so much to think about. Plus, there's a lot of time when you're when you're playing it at our level to regret all the mistakes you make. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's the mandatory half hour break where you have to step away from the board and just really beat yourself up for all of the foolish mistakes that that you made at the beginning.
which maybe our players used during their their bathroom break. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> this is this cotton mill going down. Yes, but you need to have a connection to coal. But there's no access to coal. Yeah, he needs to. He's got some tight problems. He needs to use that location and put it into Birmingham. Yes. That's the location. He does, the wild card. he does have the wild card. I'm not sure what he's holding on to that for, if not to play into Birmingham. But he could be worried. I wouldn't be that worried if I was Levi. If it gets flipped, he gets 12 points. Uh, and everyone else only gets three to one for connecting to it by him playing there. Yes, yeah, 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 I, I know. It's... I don't know. Well, you, I'm only saying if you because you're the first player for this round, and you do need to start playing faster. Yeah, they're running half an hour, right? Yep. Half an hour feels like a, a lot of time left to do these last moves, especially because your last move, like we saw in the first age, I mean, You've got to map out your six moves. And when you map them out, then it can just go boom, boom, boom. Because if you're not mapping out your next six moves at this point in time, it feels like you're not going to you're not going to be able to be efficient with those last actions. And there's nothing worse than getting to the last part of the game and thinking, oh, shoot, I have one extra action. What do I do with this now? I can't sell with it. I can't build something. I can't capitalize on this action because I didn't make those planning decisions uh, way back at turn six. Levi building some coal to get himself some extra income. He gets 22 back, as Jeff is saying, because he's building uh, something that has four coal on it, and it goes right into the market. And he also scores himself and only himself some points with that connection. Oh, sorry. Yes, you get 22. Oh, yeah, you need to receive yours, correct. <laughs> yep, that's good. Yeah. All right. Cool. <coughs> okay. I will, sir. You can feel the tension ramping up as the time dwindles. And that was a play purely for income from Levi, purely to try to get no, no one oh, that no, yes. uh, no, you have, the money yeah. he needs. He also <laughs> might still, be hoping to now play bringing... into that pottery area in yeah, Coventry. Possibly. He's still not bringing the coal to the um, to the location that he wanted to get into with the mill. So he's he's probably going to have to get into Birmingham. And right now, I wouldn't be surprised if Dave covers Birmingham and kills that spot for Levi's cotton. It only makes sense by putting it into Birmingham. You would cover the thing that has the, the double option. Uh, true. But he, he's comfortable, I think, with uh, a play in that zone because of how many trains he's got leading into Birmingham. That's fair. I just think it... it to leave 12 points and the option for Levi to put 12 points there. It seems so surprising why, but he chooses not to do it. Probably for exactly the reasons you were saying, Brian. Right. To make sure his trains are worth more. It doesn't matter. Again, it doesn't matter if you're, if you're collaborating with somebody else, as long as it benefits you a little bit more. It's okay to it's okay to collaborate with the guy who's in second place. 
purple. Not so much with the guy who was in first place. Yeah. If you know who that is, I'm not sure that that you do, but it's hard. Brass is one of these things where it's so hard to figure out who who is even in the lead because the scoring only happens at two points throughout the game. So you can't use the free ship to you do can a two use beer the free ship for a two beer, but no. it, it only counts no. as one. Yes. So you you need to have another beer somewhere on the map. Right, right, right. But right. you can use this one if you. I get it. I get it. Okay. I can imagine that what Levi would want to do is use his wild location in Birmingham, use his wild industry in Coventry on the pottery, and then sell both of those. Manage to get some beer down, but I think with only four actions left and without a lot of money, you're going to have to make a choice if you're going to build build beer, if you're going to build uh, cotton, or if you're going to build pottery. Both are worth a similar amount of points, 12 and 10. So it just depends on what you can get out and if you have a spot where you can build beer, which the beer spots being taken, especially in Uxeter up top, and then my second action. being taken in the first round and not producing double beer and not being removed from the board means that there's a whole lot less beer on the board to play with. And that's why you see people who have been capitalizing on the beer existing in the markets where they 15. didn't in that first round. Seven is going to go yep. here, and then eight back to me. So this will go here. Yes. Yeah. It'll immediately flip. For 14. For, for what? For 14. 14? Okay. All right, I'm going to put a one back and take 15. Okay. Yep. And then... Uh, Jeff finally making that Colebrookdale play two, with the coal four, because five. he can load it up into <laughs> the market. And I spent He's been sitting on that uh, for <laughs> almost to be the whole game. Marker. But that flow of money is so important, especially as you get down to these last turns, because you don't want to have to take a loan if you can avoid it. Six. Well, I say that, and Luca <laughs> takes a loan. <laughs> Huh? 15, yeah. so, I may be gone. eating my words. Well, I mean, I'm sure Luca would prefer to have not had to take that loan. Four. But again, oh, it's that one dollar's going to cost me, isn't it? Oh. 16 is the least? Yes. Right. Yes. Move red to the top, please. Wow, and you can uh, see Luca is, uh, spending 16, uh, Jeff spending 17. Yeah, it's purple. They're both in contention. No. Yeah, then yellow, I think. Yellow's last one. 22, 21, no? Yellow yeah. is the last one. You're right. That's good. Take income, yes. So I get seven. So this this whole this whole game, Luke has been doing exactly what he said. He's worrying more about points than his income. Yeah, he's always been the lowest on the income track. But by taking that loan in the last turn, he was able to secure himself that all important positional bonus, which is again the benefit of taking the loan is you're deferring to be able to take things on the next turn first. So he's making that ten, ten point play. And he just plays his he just plays yeah, trains really down. Good. Luke is not gonna be worrying about building any other buildings. He's only worrying about capitalizing on the coal. And that's why he wanted to go first so that he could spend um, the coal so I can a little bit less. But he does open the door for Jeff to yeah, use that beer on manufactured goods. Ooh. Um, and, and Jeff locks is, down Birmingham. My next action, I guess, I'm going to sell. I wouldn't be that worried if I was Levi, though, because you can still do the pottery, which is absolutely cheaper here, to build, especially right? with coal being Flip as expensive as it is right now. Yes. And it's only a two, a two difference. Jeff has positioned himself to make this a game. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff makes a big play, especially getting that extra four-point bonus for using the beer 
uh, which was the bonus of Shrewsbury in the left. Oh, yeah. So you took, you took two actions? You did. Okay. Those four actions in a minute. All right. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right, guys. Two, way to go. Two trains. Uh, 11, 11, 22. Be close. You right here. They're saying it's going to be close, and I believe it. This is a tight game and really speaks Whoa. to Just, the ability of these beer, players. You build a beer, so you don't have I don't do that to... next turn. Yeah, so if you, if, you, if you build a beer here, so if you build a road here, then somebody I, else can use my beer. No, 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 no. Well, um, not if they act there. before you. So, so this is gonna you're gonna act. So, so you're gonna go third. I'll go fourth, and I'll flip your beer. I don't want you to. I want you. Flip you want to flip your beer? Yeah. You want to uh, get points for flipping? Yeah. So I want the points. But if you if you put it somewhere else and then here, you will don't have to action to build the beer and then, and then sell, sell the next. Yeah. Third. If you're trying to do this in one action. The so players reminding Dave, again, really sportsmanship-like. This is how you play so, games, right? No, this is how I play games. I say, yeah. I know what you're trying to do. No, no, Are you no, mindful no, no. of this thing? Because just you, just you make sure you're aware you're, of the rules yeah, and you had the and the order of how things are going to come out. So do I do this now or later? You have to do this now. If you want to build the beer and then sell, you have to do this now. No, because okay. you will build and oh, sell at the same time. That one, right? No, nobody can steal the rent. Okay. No. All right, gotcha. Okay. So I've got the first action done, and no, you so did two. That was two. It was one and two. Okay. Ten and twelve. Gotcha. You need eleven and eleven, twenty-two. All right, one more card. So there were two six. So eleven. Yeah, and yeah 11, 11, eleven, twenty-two. Okay. I need another five. No, 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 you're good. Yeah, yeah. So he's got it straight now. He, I don't think he was realizing that it took him no, both of his actions to get his two turns. Yeah, I think that was it. <laughs> Next turn, he has to build the beer and then sell. Yeah. But he's, he's got his... And even though that's no probably an okay play for him, he's getting, like, no okay. points on those right. trains. Yeah, so that's he's true. Making, he's making a play to make... A, making, like, three plays uh, so to make okay. one play. That's true, and to sell his manufactured goods, which are going to eventually be worth only seven points to him, yeah, because they're a level three and a level four. But also flipping over his beer, which will be either five or seven, depending where he's on. No, he he it'll be five points. So, total the twelve points over his last two so plays. Two rails for how much? And he'll get a little bit more from the uh, the beer being flipped. So he'll at least be connected. 20, 20, 22, 24, same order. Last turn. Hey, yeah. good luck everybody on the final scoring. Definitely not Thanks for the a fun game. Game cup. 15, puts me at 30. So here it is. These are the final plays for the for the seat at the table. Good job. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was distracted. <laughs> you, get, you need to get your income. That's all. Yeah, Brian so, distracting uh, the competitors. Real, real life Brian, so not commentator eight, Brian. We can still buy them from the market, correct? Right? <laughs> we can buy them from the Collusion. The, the, I can see the, the comments the now. <laughs> Discard those cards, please. Last, last, last turn on the board. Luca doing a quick check to see how we can maximize these last few turns. He's going to be building railways, seeing where the best spot on the board is going to be. Up top there, that's a huge rail to drop down. That's worth five points, I think. I have 30. Yeah, so, dead. And, he, uh, and he doesn't have enough money 13, to, to build the right? second one. So he's then, only able to build that last uh, one. Iron costs 17, so that's 30 total. And I should be able to build a single rail here and then play an iron there for 11 points total, right? And then I guess the iron won't. Oh, no, hold on. Not, the iron won't flip. The right? iron won't flip. So I guess my best play would be two single rails then, right? Because then. Flipping is not that good. Okay, so 
So I'll still I'll yeah, do so two if it single doesn't rails flip, it's not gonna help the, the rail line. Um Alright, so I have a four pointer there. Um four points there, Try four it. there. It's got five points on that Birmingham uh, rail. Four there. Oh no! I think he's counting up the ones Three that he's there. able to play on. Oh yeah, so down, four four. down below. Um, but which one? It, it's a five-point play. The Birmingham rail. He knows no, he because um, because there are some three you're value after after. Uh, <laughs> manufactured goods in there, and so the manufactured rails, goods that are in the level like, three, uh, they don't have uh, they don't have uh, any connection so points. So I want to build these somewhere touching okay. yellow, probably to prevent him from continuing his thing. If you were to build a beer, I would flip it for you. So I think I'm going to go there for four. <laughs> Levi's still and desperate for a beer. <laughs> Saying, hey, listen, we can both get points here. Four. I'm not seeing any fives on the board. Sorry, I just want to be sure. There's I no would, five. I, I, There's yeah, no I, would, five give, I would give you ten points if you were to build a beer. I would, I would flip it. I would build and sell. I can't build a beer. You can't build a There's nowhere to build a beer. Can you over? Oh, if you overbuilt Delta, it's not. Yeah, yeah, right. is not, yeah. not 10 points. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, then I'm going to do here. That's sure. my other one. Right. Take four dollars yeah. from the bank. For what? You, you only need 20 cents, right? Oh, it's the last round. Oh, it so it doesn't, no, it doesn't. Right. Tiebreaker? Money is the second tiebreaker. Income yeah. is the first. So yeah, that's okay. true. Right. I got the tiebreaker, at least. A turning card? Is it my turn? Yes. Jeff hoping that that tiebreaker comes into fruition. We're heading over to Dave to make his last play, and there is going to be no beer for Levi to be able to build, so Levi will not be able to sell that pottery in Coventry. So you, you can see Levi. You sold this one then, right? Yeah. Okay. So I think, oh, I thing. I think, I think, I think I'm going to lose by two points because that fucking move. Oh my god. Yeah, he should, he should have played that train down in Birmingham. That train in Birmingham um, is now worth. I haven't added. No, I think it's only worth it's three. Close, right? Should be yes. very close. Price, I think it's yeah. worth five. For the wrap down. One, if two, it's three, because four, five. of that move right there, I'm done. I'm Don't done with these board games finish. forever. <laughs> I know the one the one in uh Redditch, I think, is Dave's level three. So it might be worth four then. Seven. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Sure. Because it's the second time breaking the And then, and then, and then, up, and then that gives me a million dollars and I will build a rail. I will just build a mail here. I forget that he was selling this one. Mm. So that oh, yeah, Luca's pointing that out. Well, no, five, yeah. right? Yes. Oh, six, oh, six, six points. Yeah, you you're, you're, you're absolutely right there, Brian. Yeah, there's I think sure it's like a, it's a second tiebreaker. It's, tie tie it's, it's the second tiebreaker. Yeah, the, yeah. the first tiebreaker yeah. is income, and we're all, we're all out. We can, we can write for and 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 I would have the most money because it's like that That was like $40 or something. Two, three, four, five, two points. No, I got four, so one. Okay, so if I lose by one, then it's. All right. Then I can okay, throw it Okay, good job, there. gentlemen. Let's do the game, yes. everybody. Second time. Little, little pre-post-mortem going on here. <laughs> so, one, two. They're, they're getting ready. It's re you can feel the intensity around. They're scoring the rails now. We're going to start with Luca. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. These key networks are so... 22, are so important. That's a seven-point network Jeff could have had. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 42. 42. Yeah, he spent a lot of effort early in that rail era getting those key spots down. Yeah. Look at that. That is just, uh, 42 uh, points crazy. in rails. I I don't believe anyone else is going to have more than that. They need me to check yes. out. So I still have stuff in my room. 11, 12, so 13, I am 14, 15, quite confident I did not win. Yeah. Okay. 16, 17, 18, Good luck whoever wins. 20. I have, to, I have yes. like a mini emergency I need to resolve. Good, Good game, guys. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Hotel pressing issues, sending Levi to go check out and grab his suitcase. 30, 31, 32, 33. 
33, 34, 35, wow. 36, mm -hmm. I, I might 40, be lying to you. 42. 42, exactly the same amount oh as Luca. That is, that is keeping pace. 42, 79. Oh. oh, but I think he has me on buildings anyway, so it's probably not going to matter. Uh, white. If Jeff had taken that, the one, scores might be two, tied right three, now. Four, five, six, yeah. seven. Yes. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yes. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yes. You can see those points working for Birmingham. Yes. I saw them. 24, 25. I think I'm going to lose by three points. 25, uh, 26, 27, 28. But yes. 29, it's 30, very close. 31, 32. Well played. Yes. Well played. I'm not, I haven't. I don't 32, know 32 for Dave. Not enough. Enough to make up the, the gap Plus in points. Oh, sorry. Seems like it's going to come down to Jeff or Luca right now. We still need to add up Levi's routes, but I think Levi not being able to get that last building. So, one, two, three, four. Yep. Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is to show the card. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 37, that's a lot for Levi too. 40, 42, 43, 44, 45. 45. 45. Levi, Levi has the most points. That's going to put him right on the same Ooh. as wow. Jeff. <laughs> this is coming down to the wire. Uh, Start with red. Levi not being able to get out that last building. If, he, if someone had given him a beer, they might have given him the win. I think the players recognized that. Collecting the buildings to be, to be scored. That is a lot of buildings. Double check for the reds. They're all off the board. Luca being the only person to capitalize on that pottery. Thirty-seven. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Fifty-three. Fifty-seven. You can see the mental toll being taken. 57 plus 81. Uh, it's, uh, I don't think I have 138. 138. So he's looking at a pretty good score for this level of play, but will it hold up? We're seeing Jeff's collecting his tiles now, but I, again, if Levi Levi was was really pushing those big building strategies. Two. Or let's go, sorry, 10, 59, right? That's what we needed? Yeah. 20, 41, that's 21, right? He's getting close. Uh, 50. 50 even? Yeah. 50 total for Jeff. So, 129. Yep. 129, he's just nine points behind. It was, it and all he needed was 59 because he knew he would have he would have uh, won the tiebreaker. I'm not doing it myself. Sure. It will be seven. I'm not as fast as they are. Yeah. Well, so I'm leaves that for you. Was bad. Dave collecting to see his score, but I don't think Dave's going to be close. And then they'll they'll collect Levi's as well. He's got a few buildings here. Levi could. The fact that Levi has been so in on the big cotton and cotton are worth a lot of points you can see the buildings being lined up for levi levi does have a chance dave finishing at 113. he scored and he scored 55 points in that last round which is still pretty good that's pretty good he made up a lot of points 30. 
Uh, and then that's 50, 55. Levi also needs 59. Oh, Levi gets 55. Levi moves into second place. Wow. How about that? Wow. Looking forward to seeing you again next year. Incredible. What a finish. That was an incredible finish. The final scores, Dave at 113, Jeff at 130, I believe. Yeah, 130, Levi at 135, and Luca at 139. What a close finish. I I can't help but it was the, it was Levi not being able to get those buildings in both cases. If Levi had been able to convince somebody to use their beer and say, hey, listen, low low ball in the game saying, listen, you, you want points? I'll give you points with your beer. You're going to get a lot. I'm going to get some a few extra points than you, but we'll both go up. Levi could have taken the game. And if that play in that first half of the game, if he'd been able to flip that third cotton, those would have been the nine points difference to put him ahead. Yeah, and you that wonder also, too, about um, close. Dave, it, as far back as he was still, though, if he had been able to flip that pottery in that first canal era, that easily could have been a, a, a momentum mover for him as well, too. So. Absolutely. Yeah, because he would have he would have gotten an extra 15 points from that, putting him at around 128 uh, if he'd been able to, because he would have flipped his beer earlier as well. So really close. It, it's so fascinating to me to see the the, the slight differences that I can only assume us talking about will haunt our players until their next World Series next oh. year. <laughs> but yeah, what a great game. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Brian, do you have anything, uh, any other closing thoughts to say before we sign off? It's been a long game, so. No, but I think my Brass Birmingham game may get just a touch better. I think mine as well. It makes me want to play Brass Birmingham right away and, uh, and, I wanna, and see, I, see what tips we can take. <laughs> Indeed. But I do want to thank everybody for watching. World Series of Board Gaming has just been excellent. Every single uh, final, every single ring event final, every semifinal has just been excellent. And I'm so glad I can uh, be here with you today, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thanks for joining me, Brian. And, and thank you all for watching. Be sure to stay tuned to the YouTube channel for more World Series coverage of some really exciting games coming up on the horizon. Uh, this is Chris George signing off. And Brian Muller signing off. There we go. Make sure to get in the game. Take care, everyone.